What do we have here? What do we have here? Look at that movie. My goodness gracious. The first copy of Superman to hit the VCO in 1979. Would you please turn that TV set down? I can't stand to hear myself. All right. Mud's back on camera. Tell me when I can go to Ray. Go to me now. Oh, you'll see it, Gary. Up to the side. <laughs> Should we blo block out the audio? Hey, a real live cameraman. All right, how are we looking there, Mr. Cameraman? I hate to hear that. How you doing? This is the first annual VCO Plus Michigan convention in Fremont, Ohio, February 5th, 1979. And we're doing this in living color. We've been at this for 10 hours now. <clears throat> From 12 noon till whenever, with the entire video collectors of Ohio, plus two, plus three, from Michigan. And uh, we've been dubbing like crazy since noon today. Uh, going nuts, we have about 17 machines here right now, an all-time record. We have the Grand Ballroom of the Ramada Inn in Fremont, Ohio, at our disposal, provided to us by one Chuck Mosier. Chuck, take a bow, please. Uh, Mr. Mosier, Chuck, uh, this guy right here is Chuck Mosier who owns this Ramada Inn in Fremont, Ohio. Very big guy, six foot five, of generosity. Chuck, say something to the fans for posterity. Hi, fans. Welcome to Fremont. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't leave me with the mic. You're in the spotlight. <laughs> Don't leave me with the mic. Ah, I got Art over here. You can talk to him. OK. All right. Uh, now, you know how tall I am, folks. <laughs> Flanked by the two most colorful people in the entire world. A rose in between two thorns. Yeah, anyway. Where are the thorns? Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyway, yeah bring, yeah, bring the light in a little closer there. Uncle, Uncle Steve is on lights. Yeah. Uncle Steve is and on the audio limiter off on that thing. It's killing our, our turn it off. Just no, don't turn the, no, leave the limiter on. I don't want it on. Uh, I think we're going to overmodulate, aren't we? we, won't, we How's won't. our needle? I'll, I'll watch it. I'll watch it. All right. I like to have it on. Anyway, anyway. we've got a very nice uh, color camera here that was uh, loaned to us by uh, uh, my friend uh, at uh, Cable TV in Ypsilanti, uh, Jeff. And... Uh, he was generous enough to have let us have the equipment so that we could do all this in color. We're going to pan around the room, aren't we, here in yes, a little while? Uh, what is this room called? This is the Friar's Loft. The Friar's Loft? Yes, that's right. You have a lot of banquets and things like that up here, a lot of big social affairs that occur in Fremont, right? No. <laughs> the, man is, the man is disgustingly honest and, and a super guy. A lot of very nice people here. Uh, we're going to kind of tilt around the room here. Tilt around the room. There's pan around the pan room. Around the room. Tilt, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tilt up and down as we uh, gaze at some of the things. All right, let's. 17 machines, an all time record. Yes. We have all three formats represented here today Betamax X1 and X2, VHS, and three quarter Umatic. As our cameraman pans around the room, starting off. With a brand new Zenith X2 only, that's one. A Zenith dual speed, that's two. We'll come around to the back of it. Uh, yeah, how about that? Way over here in this corner, <laughs> we have two Sony 8200s. If you can see through Walt Maskey over there. Thank you, Walt. Stick to radio, Mud. Mud is on camera. Well, that's a radio man. Can you get in the corner there, uh, Wynn? We have a, a U-Matic, a Toshiba Betamax, and a VHS. Well, uh, in the corner there, that's uh, five, six, seven. You've seen so far. Yeah, that's a shadow. Wait a minute, I'm gonna put you in shadows. There. Okay, talk. Talk, Steve. You're in shadows. This is a video file. <laughs> Keep panning around. Keep. So far, we have counted two, four, six, seven machines. Chick, Chick Watkins. Thank you, guys. Over the other way. We've had seven machines so far. We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 right here. Oh, yeah. Getting our first copy of Superman. I didn't say it. I muffled it. Right there we have so far 14 machines. Pan down around the floor. Tilt down. Pardon me. Gary's going nuts over our first copy of Superman. Okay, that makes 14 machines so far. Get back in the light, right? All right. Our light man is really being taxed tonight. <laughs> so far, we've had 14. We have two more over in that corner that way. That way, along with Chip Watkins and Walter Maskey. There we go. Three more machines over there. You're right. That makes 17. And if our light man can move, we'll squeeze right behind him. 
and show the 320 that we're using to record this on right over here. There we go. That's Art and his 320, a very nice couple. That makes 18 machines under one roof. <laughs> this is movies. Now, who are all of us? <clears throat> You're on the mic cord. Let's go one by one, name and format. Okay. All right. Are, yeah, a long time you know friend. We're finally in color. Finally, I'm <laughs> I'm wearing white. You're worried about your red I'm pop wearing, stains. I'm worried. I'm wearing white. My shirt makes up for everybody. Don't worry. Okay. Anyway, and uh, okay. My name is Art, of course. Everybody knows. Mr. Media. For yeah. free. Yeah, Mr. Media. I write for the video file. And uh, Freddie McGee. This is. Uh, and Carrie Decker. And Carrie Decker. And Joe. And is, is Joe going to see this? Is Joe going to see this? Joe will see it. Mazzini will see this. We at the launch. rate, at, at the rate they get taste back to us, they'll right. see it next year. Right. Well, if worse comes to worse, I'll bring this out to California. They'll be seeing it then. Okay. Give them a dub. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay. So that, and I'm and I brought the 320, and I'm also right. responsible for this color camera that which you're is doing an awfully right nice job. Which isn't doing bad since we're using one little scoop for a light. That's okay. right. Okay. Over here we have Gary Herman. How do you do? I have two machines, both beta. One. Um, no One to 7,200. The other is the Zenith um, 8,200. 8, and I have approximately 245 tapes okay. as of today. All right. And now we go to a man that I corresponded with for probably six to eight months. Heard him talk on the phone. He's called me at work while I'm eating my dinner. This is Steve Rates from... Detroit, Michigan, West Bloomfield, Michigan. West Bloomfield, Michigan. Yes, and I want to say it's going to, what a great pleasure it is to come down and meet all these fine people who are high in the middle, round at the ends. <laughs> and yes, a lot of them are round at the end and high in the middle. And uh, Stu, I know you're going to be seeing this high. When you out, meet Stu. you, you <laughs> definitely <laughs> eat your heart out, right? Uh, I have a uh, Sony, a Sony 8200. My Sony 8200 and uh, my library has expanded uh, due much to the thanks of this gentleman here on my right and the now light man, Art Volo. <laughs> and we thank you and I turn it back to you. Thank you very much. All right, over here we have a guy that uh, visited my apartment in Cleveland in black and white in November. He's right over here, known as a part-time magician and good and full-time all-around nice guy, Mr. Marv Long. Take it away, Marv. Is this going to shock me? No. My name is Marv Long. I'm 17 years old. My hair is brown. My eyes are ruby red. I collect on Cartridge Vision. I have two tapes. I collect roller derbies. I'm also responsible for the first copy of <clears throat> in Ohio and Michigan. <laughs> and a couple other things that we won't mention either right. that are fine quality animation. <laughs> 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 and you can thanks have it that. back. But thanks for nothing. Um, okay, next, this is the video file. Uh, over here we have another man from Cleveland who collects on Umatic. Hello, the name is Jim Novotny. As he said, I do collect on Umatic primarily, although I'm stuck with the Betamax down there being used right now. Did I stop moving? Okay, I am sorry. Uh, gee. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I have nothing to say, believe it or not, so we'll pass it back on to Ray and see what he can find out this do. All righty. Who else over here? Get the shadow. This, uh, we got the sh this is the video file. Hi, my name is, Hi, my name is and I, you my voice, you have to recognize my voice. Get me in the That's enough. Okay, over here. <laughs> over here, I want to run this way. We have a guy that very rarely, we have a guy that very rarely ever appears on camera because he's not with us all the time. But anyway, a very nice guy with two X2s, Bill Frankel. Say something. Thank you, Ray. Not in your announcer's voice. Thank you, Ray. <laughs> I'm pleased to be on camera, and I want to thank everyone for inviting me here today. Ray? Okay. Oh, that was really Yeah. Mr. Rockman. Mr. Rockman, come on. This is another man that we get to talk to about once every four months because he's either too busy to, uh, to correspond or talk to us, or else he's out of the country. Walt Maskey, the rock band of the VCO. Right. Say something. Hello there. This is fun, isn't it? <laughs> yes, right. I'm better on Channel 5. Talk right into the lens. Boy, that light is bright. We've got to tell you, before Art went out and bought these lights at a Kmart store, and we were all in the middle of, middle of dubbing with 17 machines, and he came in and he said, well, wait till you see these lights. He plugged them in and the fuse blew. And we had nice things to say about Art. No, we're having a great time. 
We want you to know that uh, Wynn went downstairs and we had dinner tonight and we had uh, steaks and he had shrimp and he got four shrimp. <laughs> okay. Hey, this is great. And Chuck has been fantastic. He's been a great host and he's got a great collection and this has been a lot of fun. In Fremont, is that where? Fremont, Fremont Ohio. Ohio. Okay, back to you. And, and, and we want Chuck to know that if he goes up, we'll all go with him. <laughs> because after the publicity he's got tonight on the camera, it could be very risky. But Chuck, we're all with you, and we'll try to get a ward rate. And now, here's the cameraman. Hi there. The Hi real there. disc jockey. No, I don't want to this, is, uh, this is the guy in charge of the bris. Uh, <laughs> I'm made, I'm, what, is, what day is it? May 10th? May 10th uh, wins. We're going to have a little boy, maybe, and uh, we're going to have a bris, which is the uh, Jewish custom of tipping off. <laughs> and uh, although I don't perform that function myself, I, I have been... Brisket. <laughs> brisket, right. Oh, God. <laughs> Ray, I just want to say it's um, a, it's a ple. <clears throat> I just say it, I'm I'm too tired. It's a tired. it's a pleasure to be with these lovely people tonight in the glorious town of Fremont. 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 It does exist. Why? Just today, I said to Chick, uh, "What do you do for excitement in Fremont, Chick?" And he turned back to me. He said, "Well, we could go to the laundromat and watch the clothes go around in the dryer." Um, <clears throat> All I gotta talk to is this jockey voice. Uh -huh. Come on, Chick. Come on, Chick. Another radio personality now comes on camera, also looking half dead. The oh, Chick no, Watkins. Have, have a copy of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to start my collection. Tomorrow's Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Chick, Chick Watkins. Uh, who Chick, I resent that very much, and I wouldn't say this to you if it weren't you, because you know how much I respect you and like you, but I'll be damned if us as a group, of, and I'm sure the guys will agree with you, will get involved in any type of illegal films. Right, guys? Right! So this Star Wars crap, forget it. That bugs me a lot. <laughs> this is Chick Watkins, who collects on X2 and has Warner Star Cable. I... Oh. Hi there. <laughs> you do talk behind a mic once in a while, don't you? Oh, not, not, not that often, but... Uh, Come on, knock it off, Volo, knock it off, Volo. <laughs> Look at, can you zoom all I want to know is I was waiting for Volo to bring all of his uh, radio bootleg uh, uh, radio TV uh, films it. along with oh, him, but he didn't do it. Zoom in on the note. Can get the note. Get the note. note. Can you get that note? You know how much that note cost him? Lots. Yeah. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Okay. Well, have we gotten everybody? Oh, well, I think Chuck knows that we are very appreciative. Chuck is doing this on the goodness of his heart. He does not collect videotape, and it's very kind of him to let us come in here and, and carry on <laughs> but without him getting any copies of anything whatsoever. So we really appreciate that, Chuck. I mean, not being... He does collect audio tape, but no video. <laughs> I think Mar's right. I think we all owe Chuck a lot for providing us with this place. And a lot of good movies. Some fantastic quality stuff from On and Z channels in Los Angeles. Uh, just been a fantastic time. So I guess this winds up the first annual Mid-Ohio Mini Video Con on February 5th, 1979 in Fremont, Ohio. Stu in New York. Next time you best fly in for this one as you're watching this on your gorgeous little 12-inch Trinitron in the heart of Midtown Manhattan. It is worth getting out of the apple and coming here for some hardcore fun stuff. get it apple core i know we're digging deep for, the for two these. that are shot <laughs> <laughs> we um, two shot we, two we shot. have had a hell of a time we shall not soon forget it we dated oh, this sure. right in what, february 5th, 5th 79 1979 right it right now is 9:38 in the we've evening we've been doing this since 12, since 12 noon, today. noon today right after the pyramid was over <laughs> we'll <laughs> we'll catch y'all later see ya fade to black Bye. See you next year. Bye. See you next year. This is madness. Hold it down, folks. This is. Um, how tight are you? Are you tight? Are you fairly tight? On? Chest shot. All right. Let me come in a little closer then. I really like to fill the screen on this one to start out with at least. Okay. Let's uh, hold it down the room. It's amazing. Hi, this is Fremont, Ohio, 1979. This is probably the, uh, the most bizarre thing that yours truly has ever witnessed. And uh, probably in the next couple of minutes, or however long this runs till we are removed from tape, or disintegrate the heads, uh, I'd like to show you what's going on here on this, the, uh, the 5th of May. The, actually, the 5th and 6th. I'm sure we'll start this on the 5th and probably end it on the 6th. It is, uh, yes, it's 1031 in the evening, uh, in 30 seconds. Beep. 
uh, here in Fremont, Ohio. And don't pan around the room until I start telling people what's in the room, right? <laughs> You see, you got to wait for the director. We need a director. We've needed a lot of things tonight, folks. Most of us are dead tired. I'm sitting here in my chroma key blue jacket wearing this lovely little T-shirt, which I had especially printed. I hope you can get a good shot of that. <laughs> and as you can see, by looking at your TV set now, you'll know what we mean when we say we all look better uh, on videotape. But, yes, that's right. Anyway, so what we'd like to do is show you some of the people that are here that made it here for this uh, first VCO plus Michigan plus a uh, hundred other places. We even have people that came as far away as New Hampshire that have, uh, that have come here. So we'll just kind of show you around the room and let you see what the heck we've got. Down here through the center of the room, if we can get a, a decent shot here, uh, panning on down, we have uh, a variety of, uh, of machines. Uh, there are... Uh, yes, it, yes, it looks like Highland Appliance Store. That's, I'll play the... I'll tell you what I'll do, you guys, I'll play this at the Highland Appliance Store in Ann Arbor, let them see how many machines are here, and let them try and tell us that VHS, VHS is better. I think we have, how many did we count? 38, 39 machines, something of that nature. This is uh, as we, Ray is just bringing the camera around here and, and showing a lot of the, uh, the tremendous variety of equipment that we've got here. It's just absolutely unbelievable. So over here in this corner, are you getting those down here? A uh, whole, whole mess in that corner. Over here, if we can flip the light around a little here, we ha bring the light around a little here. We have one, two, three machines here, a couple of more over here. Let's bring it on around here, uh, uh, Ray, if, can, if you can try and keep me in focus, it's possible. Behind Stu over here, some Toshibas, a couple of Toshibas over here, and another monitor. We have uh, Uncle Steve's uh, over here, and we've got a couple of more uh, Sonys, uh, more Trinitrons. Uh, down on the floor, yes, a couple, <laughs> a couple down, a couple down on the floor. I'm sure glad Ray's over there on the floor. <laughs> here, right here, a couple more VHS. There's Mud. Mud's been on a diet. We call him. <laughs> you can see he's almost disappeared since last time. Yes, he's holding up. You want to get that in focus here? at 1220. We, you don't see it there. There you go. 1220 WGAR. You got that? Get the thing out of the way there. Make sure you cap You hold that up right. But anyway, and then if we pan around the room even further, or tilt around, excuse, or, no, pan around, tilting is up and down, right? Okay. Yeah, pan and scan. Over, <laughs> over here we have a couple more machines. We have a uh, three-quarter inch. Do you get a shot of the three-quarter inch machine there, VCR5? And uh, right over here is a uh, good old uh, 320 that's recording all this lovely stuff. And uh, then, then I am standing right next to it. You want to <laughs> bring it? No, let's not see video feedback. So anyway, let's uh, do a quick uh, talk. To, oh, by the way, the biggie, <laughs> I almost forgot, is right here. Get a shot of this, gang. Bring the light in close. This is the uh, video disc. Bring that light in, maybe just a pinch, uh, okay? And if you open it up, come on in a little closer here. Ah, okay. Here we go. Now let's get a, uh, a disc out here. This is a love story. We have many uh, wonderful discs here. Let me see if I can, can whip this out. Okay. That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that, is, that is a video disc. And uh, as you can see, that's a love story. We have uh, Jaws 2 and Saturday Night Fever and a few other goodies here. And all you have to do is uh, take this little baby and stick it right in the old machine. And uh, you close the lid and close it. Turn the power on, and let's see if we can. Uh, let's see if we can get a picture here. Yes. Okay. Let's see if we can just flip our little switch here, and we should get a picture. Hopefully, no. Oh, somebody unplugged the disc. That's just wonderful. See now who? Uh, this is the part that we will edit out. Who? Where? This is no, it no, is. Okay. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, it doesn't. Well, we will. We'll do it later. Okay. Well, we'll do. We'll show the. Uh, <laughs> thanks. You, you have to come into where you can see whether or not I shaved good, huh? Uh, <laughs> Pick your nose, huh? Yeah. Okay. So, Give me some light over here. It's a training session for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Start it over, Gerard. Well, because of all the roaming around the room, there was no...
microphone on, right on. Is the little needle moving on the thing? That's wonderful. We wanted to show you maybe a little bit of what the video disc looks like that we brought uh, because uh, I'm very proud to say that I'm the first one to have a video disc uh, in this group and um, we would like very much to, to kind of show you what it's all about. So this is the machine right here, if we can uh, come down kind of low on it and kind of zoom on in there, uh, Ray. Uh, Get it, get a little tighter. You know, you can come on down. Why don't you scan across the controls here? Come in nice and close, nice and close, all the way in, Ray. All the way in and focus. If you maybe. You should. Um, okay. I, now, now just staying on. Now this first knob right here is the power control on off. Okay. This is the still frame right here. The still frame for reverse or the still frame forward, which will cause it to go either forward or backward. Next in line here is slow motion. This is slow motion to make it go backwards. This is slow motion making it go forward. This control right here on a slide here tells you how fast or how slow you want to make the, uh, the uh, machine move when you're in slow motion. Next we have the play controls. This is reverse and this one that's silver lined happens to be for normal play. Whenever you touch that it goes into normal play. This is fast forward right here and then we have two audio switches here. Uh, there are two different lights, one here and one here. When you can put, that's audio channel one, that's audio channel two. Little lights light up and tell you which ones you are for stereo audio tracks. Next is the search, that's like fast forward or first re fast rewind. And last, right here under the Magnavox uh, nameplate, is the index, which places the number up on the screen. Now we'll bring it over here to the screen. We'll take a peek at it here, flip the switch there. And that is exactly what it looks like when you are in still frame and before you start. Now we'll start the thing. And you can see the nice little disco vision uh, uh, beginning that they put on these things. This kind of shows the beginning. Uh, that is what they uh, put on the opening here. Let's see if we can bring up some volume here. That's the music that they have on the uh, front of it. Now this is going right into the movie. This is the movie, whoops, the movie Love Story. If we can go up a little ways here. And we can scoot up a little here. Oh, this, this is just wonderful. It's, wait a second, folks. Isn't that wonderful? God, God is against us here. We, we're trying to... Um, What's, what's, what's happened here is that uh, we obviously have a, a it looks like a, 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 a bubble on the, uh, on the disc. The frame counter is not going anywhere. Well, the disc player just broke. That just makes me feel terrific. Uh, pardon me? Okay, let's, uh, well, that's how, that's how it's not supposed to work. It's it's stuttering. I think we should stop this again. This is because, okay. Should we? Okay. Uh, watch the light that you don't get in the light. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, how about uh, bring it around? Flip the switch. I think that in in lieu of the uh, of the disc player not working properly, which just uh, royally bugs me because it's been working beautifully. We've had it on all afternoon. Maybe the uh, thing is getting tired or something, and that's why it's, uh, it's dying. But I would like to take time now at least to show you some of the nice people that came out. So, who would like to be the first person to come on over here? And uh, how about Chuck? I think Chuck, Chuck, should, Chuck should definitely... There we go. Chuck would like to present an idea that was uh, brought up by Chick Watkins a few minutes ago. And Chuck, if you could present it to the group, I think it would really be nice. We could kind of maybe even take a vote on it this evening. Well, what we've decided to do, uh, henceforth, are you ready for this? Yes, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> well, rather than have a meeting here in Fremont and uh, get all you people together to tape movies, we're going to have a meeting here and just tape movies of us and not, not take any movies. Excellent. Isn't that a good idea? And then we're going to start a monthly party where we go to each one of your houses. It's like a Tupperware party, you see. <laughs> And we film at your house. If, they, if they did that, they would cancel my homeowner's policy. <laughs> Art, would you be willing to come in once a month and MC the thing for us? Hey! 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 Thank you. Hey! 
Chuck here has once again been outstanding. We have had a meal tonight that was just tremendous. <laughs> just yes, tremendous. And let us not forget, Mud had a good meal this evening. Oh, yes. Yes. Very big thank you. Very big thank you, very big thank you for yeah, Chuck. Sure. Just a super job. And, uh, and we'd like to, you know, just uh, thank him here on the tape for uh, making this place available to us, uh, which is now called the Silver Tarp Inn. <laughs> Chuck's Hole. Chuck's Hole. <laughs> Chuck Hole. Chuck yeah, the Chuck Hole and yeah. uh, here in, uh, in Ohio. So what we like to do is just very quickly talk to some of the people that came here and just find out where they're from and this kind of thing and just uh, say hello very quickly. So I thank you for being the first one. You Did mean, you want to say it? anything else? You mean that's it? That's I, it. You don't get to uh, say anymore? You want to say anything else? Yes, I would. I, okay. I'd like to say that the last time we had this, what are you who's laughing over? The last time we had this, <laughs> The last time we had this, uh, everybody got on the mic and said hello to everybody that they know and said they should come next time. And the problem is that everybody I know is here. That, Sounds that, much too sexual to me. Oh, all right. Well, you can have the mic. And, uh, have you heard a rumor that yeah. Art might be taking over the Johnny Carson Tonight Show? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I just thought maybe you'd want to. Is that a... It's not official. Not official. But we read it in one of the trade magazines that he was asked. Art Volo? Vol Art Volo. Is that right? The Tonight John, Show. Johnny so Carson Show. like to know that, yes. You're not stuck, kid. I sure am. All right. Okay. Let's uh, talk to some of the um, nice people. <laughs> you can see how I have total control of this program. Um, and I, if you, you may recall, last time I spoke into the camera and said, Stu in New York, eat your heart out while you see this. You'd best fly in for this one. Guess who flew in? Well, how you doing? Art, I'd just like to thank my mother and my father for my production and... Uh, I'm having a lot of fun. What production was that? I don't uh, about uh, 27 years ago, there was this uh, unusual meeting. And, uh, <laughs> and his parents have been regretting it ever since. Ever since that time. That's for that's sure. Right. Can you believe this? 39 machines. Unbelievable. 20 how many people? Uh, I've lost count. I haven't I've even totally tried. I've lost count. If right. went to Ohio went down up. to WNCI with uh -huh. uh, Joel Schwartz and had a full day of activities with the radio station. They really have a beautiful place down there. And uh, had a chance to drive up to be with everybody tonight. Joel did and, and look, look look who, who it is into the camera. To be here. This Mr. Is the S. infamous Joel hello, Schwartz. Hello, 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 hello everybody out there. It's really nice to be here. Joel Schwartz is from <laughs> uh, Columbus, Ohio. Really originally from uh, Hey, show him your wait, big from, A from uh, uh, New York. He's going to strip right here, you know. New York City. You tight you know shot what I mean? Ray. There it here is. In the the New York Yankees. Uh, New York Yankees. Is that like the Cleveland Indians, no? Listen, I want to tell you something. This place is really insane. I've been here for about uh, 14 hours, and I've already got about 30 hours worth of vitamins this on is, tape. This uh, is his first VCO. This also. is the very first one that he's ever been That's to. Right. Joel is with what radio station in Columbus? Uh, WNCI radio station, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, Big 98 FM, rock and roll, get down. All right, I'm glad he could make it, and glad Stu could make it. Thanks, and sir. with them uh, came another writer for the video file who is hobbling around on a cane all the way from Wheelersburg, Ohio. Come on in here and um, a, a, a get, get him as he hobbles over. This is just to show that it is no joke. Uh, this is really rough. Let me yes, see, you, yeah. want, you want to hit your leg with the cane there? Yeah, well, this is... Get that mic down. There you go. That is the sound of... actually is a cast on That's my right. Leg, so. Bob Burns, Bob Burns here Bob is... Put it on. Yes, Bob Burns is a member of the original cast, right? The original cast. Yes. Right. And he drove with that cast all the way up to Columbus, Ohio from Wheelersburg, which is on the Ohio River, right down at the very bottom of the state of Ohio, right? Very bottom. Okay, now you write for the video file. That's correct. What's your column called? Uh, the video composite, which video was very com clever from me, and I uh, hope everyone appreciates it. Well, listen, do you want to say anything? Jim Lowe is going to no doubt see this, so would you like to... Would you like to complain to him about the amount of space you're getting? In well, the Jim, <laughs> he took the mic let, me, let me tell you, this has really been a big pleasure being here. I, I wish you could be here. And uh, Ard has, he did handled all the travel arrangements, and I'm sure he'll do the same for you next year, <laughs> next month, whenever we have it again. And uh, so I'll turn this back over to him, and I'm sorry you couldn't be here. Well, thank you very much, Bob. All right. Favorite. It, I'm glad you could make it up. Glad, glad you hobbled on in for this thing. And here in a gorgeous blue shirt with it stuck out, really looking very chic, is Mr. Elvis fan number one. There he is. This is. Hey, how do we look here? Blue on blue. We got a lot of blue here. We got Gary Herman. How are you enjoying yourself, Gary? Real fast. Thank you very much, Gary. I'm so glad you could make it. <laughs> no, come here. Just kidding. What do you think? In 30 seconds or less. Uh, I think this is just crazy, man. Everybody's a crazy bunch here, and I hope I can stay awake till uh, 5 in the morning, right? Ah!
<laughs> right? I guess so. I guess and so. Uh, if you want Mo Moonraker, be here in six months. All righty. Well, listen, we got a, here, here is one of our uh, new people, Sam the VHS man. It's okay. You can stand on this side. I mean, it's all right. Either way. Okay. This is the first time you've made... First time you've made one of these. Yes. What do you? What's your? Uh, what's your immediate reaction here? Well, uh, right now I don't even know where I am. That's to start off with. He's been snorting coke. You know how it but, goes. But uh, besides that, uh, this is the most fascinating thing I have ever seen. Twenty-nine or thirty people, or I don't even know how many people, gathered here with forty machines. Is the most unbelievable thing I have ever seen in my life. I've been here since 10 o'clock this morning. Have you? My ever? eyes are rolling out of my head. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying myself. And you're going to fall asleep real easy tonight. I doubt it. <laughs> you will, trust me. Thank We've you. got a couple by of other. By yes. the way, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Take care. <laughs> All right. Mr. Rosen. Mud, mud, mud. We have no time to waste. I'd like to. We'd like to fill your screen with mud. <laughs> Here is the man. Here is the man. Hi there. What's the real announcer? He's going to, uh oh. Jesus Christ, you got your arm around me so good. Hi there, Art. Is Joe going to see this? Did you know? <laughs> Hi, Joe. Yes, Joe. Will Joe will see it. ABC? Anyway, I won't put my arm around you, okay? Okay. Uh, when's your wife, uh, wife going to have the baby? Uh. Maybe a couple of days. Okay, do any day. Now, you almost didn't make it because you were afraid that you were going to... Well, this is true. Uh, it was pins and needles for a couple of hours, and then she threw me out of the house. Oh, she's into acupuncture? She's into acupuncture. <laughs> right. <laughs> or whatever. Have you ever seen... What do you think of this one compared to the last one? I think this is much better, much... Much... It's uh, put... It, I talk for a living, right? Uh, this is very good. <laughs> what radio station do you work for now? I work for two stations. Which two? Uh, WDMT, which is a disco station, and 1220 WGAR, when they need someone very desperately. <laughs> and speaking of 1220 WGAR, we have sitting over there with a pipe, none other than Chick Watkins. Chick happens to be the program director of the radio station. Chick's coming in. <laughs> and Chick, how's it going? How's it going? It's just going great, Art. I, right. I've really been enjoying myself. And I last time we thank got you together, for inviting me over here. Last time you asked for a copy of Star Wars. That's right. That, uh, <laughs> and I believe that Steve Comet came in and said we'll have none of that. Right. I this have been commissioned by the entire group to award you the MC of the Year Award. <laughs> and uh, you've you done such this? an outstanding job over these last uh, several months this That's year the MC that the you are undoubtedly the best MC of the year and Art, I've got one bit of advice quit while you're ahead <laughs> well, if, since the camera can't get in very close that little sticker says MC of the, MC year. Of the year, right? which probably means medium cool <laughs> right? congratulations so, thank you very much alright All right. also here we, we, we talked first to, to, uh, to Stu Goldberg and last time, Stu's uncle was here, Uncle Steve. And in these nice green shirt here, uh, green shirt? <laughs> is, is your set adjusted properly, huh? No, in basic, in basic brown. Uh, that was good right after mud. We went to basic brown. Was, uh, is, uh, is good old Uncle Steve Rate. And how are you doing, Steve? We're doing real fine. We're what do you doing think real about fine. this, huh? I think it's great. But I also know that there's a lot of people that are waiting for you to wrap it up. Yeah, because so we can get back to the depth. That's right. Yes. To well, get we, back to, to, to get, want to say hello to you. We got to get back to uh, what we're all really here for, and okay. uh, you're doing a fine job. And go ahead, keep 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 doing that. We're trying we're trying to get everybody on. Keep doing just that. As I'll, I'll 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 tie it up for you for a second while you flag everybody down here. Okay. And uh, uh, okay. I'd like to point out that our cameraman, uh, who is very taxed, is doing a fine job in spite of some of the things that have been said to the contrary. And our announcer is likewise doing right, a fine well, let's, job let's, in just, spite of some things that have been said to the contrary. Thank, <laughs> thank you. I just turn the mic off. We just want to do this faster because we've got to get back to a lot of dubbing tonight here. Anyway, this is Scott Powers. Scott came all the way in from uh, Kirksville, Missouri. Now, now, damn it, I want you to know, Howard Richmond, if, and you're going to see this, Howard. Now, if this guy can make it all the way from Boondock Town and... and whoa, no, no, whoa, no, 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 it's a nice town, nice town. But what I'm saying is no big major airport. 
I mean, I Howard drove. Howard is right there by, by by the big airport. I know you drove. <laughs> now, Howard, you can just get on an airplane and be here in two hot seconds, all right? <laughs> now, if he can drive all the way from Missouri, you can get on an airplane and be here in an hour and a half, whatever, Howard an hour. Howard from St. Louis. That's, huh? Howard from St. Louis. Howard from St. Louis. I met Howard That's right. Louis, You've met so Howard, gorgeous. and it's about time. What do you think? Can Howard, you I think you should have come up, Howard. You're missing a really good thing here. Yeah, you tell him. Tell him what you're going to do. He's going to get you in a chair and pull all your teeth out if you don't come next time, right? For a fee. For a fee. i got to buy some tapes. Uh, I'm glad you had a chance to get that out to, to Mr. Richmond. And uh, now, who's this lovely lady? Why don't, you, why don't you introduce the only female this to make it Linda here? Dar, right here, live from Kirksville, Missouri, on videotape. Friend of yours, right? Friend of mine, right okay. here. What do you think of this madness? I feel quite privileged to be here with all these good-looking men. <laughs> See that? Next time, some of you wives may want to come. You never can tell. Really? I think it's quite interesting. Isn't I'm really wild? enjoying it. Absolutely yeah. crazy. And also here helping us out a great deal with our hurry hurry because we're wasting tape. Here, a three-quarter incher. <laughs> the only oh, wait a second. I better rephrase the that. The only way to go. The only way to go. <laughs> the man with you, Maddox. Howard, another reason for you to come. This guy is all three-quarter inch. We have several three-quarter inch people here. This is Chris Pearson. What do you think of all this, Chris? Great. But I've been waiting for three hours to tape Rocky Horror. And we're going to get going on it in probably about a minute and a half from right now as we good, wrap things good. up. Last people, come on down here real fast, you guys, and we're wrapping up, okay? Okay, and here, here, wearing this vivid purple turtleneck. I really purple? like it. Yes, that's really great. No, it's green, right? Okay, what do you great. think, Jim, uh, this compared to the last one we had? Uh, a little bit more confusion. <laughs> And fortunately, we didn't blow any power yeah. uh, well, with the old not, camera. Not a late, and that's right. But it's very enjoyable. I got a lot more accomplished this time than last time. A lot but, of fun. Uh, got some good stuff. Good food. There. Yeah, good, good food, food, no good doubt food, about that. Food. More people. No okay. doubt about that. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we also want to uh, say hi here. <laughs> also, well, come here a second. My tape's running Fine, out. Fine, your, ta your tape is running out. Come here. This is Paul Hill. Came all the way from New Hampshire. Paul Hill is from Londonderry, New Hampshire, which is down near uh, Boston, near the Massachusetts uh, New Hampshire line. What do you think of this craziness, huh? Crazy. Huh? Crazy. Let's hear some Boston accent. What do you mean, New Boston England. accent? Some New England accent. Park the car in Harvard Park Yard. The car. Yeah, Harvard. <laughs> Anyway, would you would you ever have traveled this many miles for this madness again? Are you crazy? Are you, I didn't think you would. Uh, where's that? Where's Glenn? Glenn probably doesn't even want to come on. He wants to keep that. And he's yeah, changing, so he's the tape. changing the tape. Uh, and last but not least, here. The only way to go. Yes, Carter Fish. The only way to go. <laughs> what do you? What do you think of this crazy? I love the outfit. The tux is really nice. Formal? Yes. For some fantastic people here. Yes. Thank Chuck and... Uh, Ging is formal wear. T-shirts by Ging. Yes, okay. What, uh... Nice. I'd like to thank Chuck and Hell with the Dubbing. I get a lot of fantastic people here. That's the best part of the whole convention. This is Jackie the Clown. We affectionately known as Jackie the Clown. He's a ma ma magician and works for United Parcel, who we who we all owe our lives to to get those tapes that's around the country. That's where I get all my tapes from. Yeah, that's right. He just picks them out. So, and, and Marvin, Jeff, very quickly, huh? Uh, why don't you come first, then you can do it. Right. You're on camera right now. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, we forgot Bill Frankel. Bill Frankel, very quickly. Here, are, do you have us on, Ray? Ray, do you have us on? This is Bill Frankel. You want to eat the microphone? This one's a little large. I don't even get that one in your mouth. I'd just like to say that I'm very happy to be here. Thank you. Bill is always so excitable. We try to calm him down. And la and also, last but uh, not least, last we, hey, we don't have any light, folks. I hope somebody. Oh, okay, this is uh, this here is uh, what, uh, for Kurt Kaufman, right? That's it. That's it. What do you do? What do I do? Nothing you right now. You examine feet. I examine feet on occasions. <laughs> yes, and you're, where are you moving to? Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona, so you'll probably never be able to make one of these again? Probably not. Maybe. Well, you'll fly years. back. You'll That's fly right. back. It's right? a long way. Yeah, it's a long way. Yeah. A long shot, huh? Yeah. What can you do? Well, really appreciate this. It's great. I want to say thanks to Ray for getting me into this uh, crazy hobby. It's a little expensive, but, uh, yeah, but it's, it's okay. Fun. It's fun. All right. Speaking of Ray Glasser, quickly, because we are running late. Hello, Ray. <laughs> Oh dear God! All right, Ray and I are the two I that coordinate so this whole thing. I'll tell you. I think, <laughs> why don't you grab this thing because you're Look, you're better than I. I've been here since ten o'clock this morning, and I want you to know it's been nonstop dubbing, bullshitting, eating, you <laughs> name it, whatever. It's been happening it's just been about. Incredible, absolutely. And uh, incredible. I want to thank Art for putting together the banquet we we had, we had tonight. The buffet dinner yeah, was great. Really uh, we didn't meal. have five hundred people here like we thought we'd have originally. <laughs> we didn't have three. Look at this. Two, two radio. That's radio yeah. people. That's radio right people. Right in front of the camera. camera you see? You know. Anyway, uh, it's really been a great time. 
The thing's only about halfway through right now. We have to go to about 3 or 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon yet. And, uh, above my head. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun. We got a lot accomplished. Why don't I step out and get on camera and let Jeff get in the picture. Yeah, it's now time for the man that brought this Hitachi Color Camera to our place here today. This is Jeff Dorn, whom we met last August in How you Detroit. Doing? I'm I burned out, man. Let's wind I it up. Why don't you back that out just a wee bit? There we go. And now that this thing is coming to a close, we'd like to thank everybody. Art? Oh, it's not professional. You want to know? You're a real pro? Okay. What do you want to go to now? You want to take, why don't you just take one big shot of the whole room from here? Take the lights behind you. Walk down there. You and the two of us are going to sign this sucker off, okay? Okay. No, well, Marv, Marv doesn't have time, so Marv's not going to get into it. Marv, you're not getting in on this unless you come right this way. Come minute. on in, Marv. Let's hurry wrap up. this up. we got to wrap it up very quickly. Who cares? Marv, hurry up. Hurry up. This Hello. Is, I'm Marv. This is Marv Long. I'm, he, I'm Marv Long. I collect on cartridge vision. That was I your collect line rolling. last time. you got to come up with some new material. Get I it. collect on Ikai quarter inch. I do uh, football, World Series, that kind of stuff. And new pictures of art. We can always count on Marv Long for a good time. Folks, I'm dying right now. We, we, he, Glenn wouldn't come down. We asked Glenn to come down. So go to Glenn. But, so you, you, we can't even get him at the other end of the room. He, uh, Glenn, Glenn is from, from Columbus, and he uh, refuses to come on camera. Uh, well, we'll, we, will, we will try... One last attempt here. He refuses to move. He's afraid. He's afraid this table falls into the wrong hands. That's right. Where is the distribution? It's going directly to the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Hi. You better shine the lights straight on. I'm very happy to. Oh. Yes. Any words? Very few. Do we have them? Can I say hello? Uh, What's that missing? That's as close as we're going to do, Chuck. Is that as good? That's as close as we're going to do. Can I say hi to my aunt? No, you have to go on the family feud to do that. She's got car division. Okay. Will this be on the various mode? All right, listen. We're wrapping up. I just want to say thank you to everybody that made it to this thing. It was a hell of a time. It is now 11.03. It is time we get these machines all fired up again. Thank you very much. Good night. All right. We is here. Welcome to Video File 7, uh, Video Con 79. Boy, I tell you, why don't I lean like this? You think I it was Bob Page from Channel 7. Anyway, listen, we're here in uh, Finley, Ohio. <laughs> No, we're here in in Fremont, Ohio. Can I say that? At the well, should we say where we're at? I don't know if we want to give this place a plug or not. Was the food good this time? Yeah. Food was pretty good. Here's here's where we are. Can you get a shout out, Mr. Cameraman? This is the Ramada Inn of Fre uh, Fremont, Ohio, where we are doing our VideoCon 1979. My name is Art Vola, Mr. Media, and we've got all kinds of interesting people that we're going to have here. Are you on a wide shot now? I believe you are, aren't you? This is the HVC-1000 Sony camera that we're using for this this year, which should give us a fairly good color picture, hopefully. Uh, Klieg lights here, courtesy of Chris Pearson, who is also our cameraman. He'll have a stiff arm by the time he's done doing that. Yeah, that's right. That's the camera motion there. So what we want to do is to show you around the room a little. So are you, are you able to follow me? Can you do this? Are you so talented? Just, well, this guy's incredible. We'd like to have you... Say hi to some of the people who made it to this thing. We really have had a killer time. If you think the last one was, was tremendous, I want especially the people um, like old Paul Murray at the top of my, my you-know-what list. we got to keep the language clean on this, by the way. No swearing or anything. We could be showing a little children. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm really ticked that he didn't make it because he's he missed a super thing. And Joel Schwartz, who couldn't get here, don't do that to me, uh, from uh, Chicago, Illinois. Now he used to be in Columbus, Ohio. Joel, you got to make the next one because this is getting bigger and better every time. And Paul Hill, who couldn't make it, not because he didn't want to be here, but because work, I guess, right? Just couldn't allow him to get away. And Howard Richmond, if he isn't here next time, we will just not speak to Howard anymore. That's all. And Howard Cosell, all right. <laughs> For sure. All right. And Jim Lowe, yeah. Well, Jim will see this. We're going to send it down to him, too, probably a copy. First of all, 
First of all, I had a lot of complaints that I would not have to wear the ABC jacket again. So I'm going to get rid of it because, you know, I'm wearing more colors here on my shirt anyhow. So that's all right. What the heck? It's only the American Broadcasting Company. All right. Uh, next to me here is none other than Gary Herman. Now, this is why I do all the talking, right? <laughs> you see? Because when I stick the mic in and let them say their own name, after they say their own name, that's all they say. You are supposed to be the professional, Mr. Ardvolo. I'm sorry. Speaking to the and, lens. Uh, oh, hello there out there in the video world. This is Gary Herman here from uh, Fremont, Ohio. Excuse me there. Really, John, uh, he's really from Cleveland. Soft, he just doesn't Cleveland. want to admit that's it. That's right. I'm from Cleveland, actually South Euclid. I'm not... Uh, um, upset about the city I live in, a very small suburb on the uh, east side of Cleveland, Ohio. Am I on your foot there? Oh, yes, you are. Excuse I'll step me. out of the picture. Uh, I'm here with my two uh, beta machines. I really don't know how many machines are here at this moment. I heard there was over 54 machines, but a lot of them are not in this room. They've gone, people have gone to their room with five or six or seven machines, and they're dubbing a bunch of movies at the same time. So, uh, you know, if, if the camera does pan around the room and you don't see that many machines like there were at our last convention, don't be disheartened. There really are more here than there were last time. Thousands and thousands well, and thousands there. of machines are here. They're just not all in this room. For example, get a shot here. You see this table? It's almost naked, right? Uh, I mean, uh, they were all filled with machines. There's, there, oh yeah, like this table over here, uh, there are still a lot of machines in the room. It's just that the minute we started doing this, all of the real hams went and flew off to the rooms to get more dubbing done. One of the guys that came from a longer distance is Scott Powers, right? That's right. I came from uh, Kirksville, Missouri. I'm a dentist down there, and I got into video about... Wait, yeah. Wait, <laughs> You're yeah. doing fine, Art. You're doing I mean, fine. They bleed a lot. <laughs> Brush your teeth, Art. Oh, please. Okay. Um, anyway, I came from Kirksville, Missouri. It's been a really good time. Uh, we just got back from an excellent, excellent dinner tonight, and I think we ought to thank Chuck Moser for putting Chuck together Moser, that meal. Moser. 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 Whatever. It's okay. Chuck. Chuck. We'll just say check. We have a special guest over here. Can you follow us over here for a minute? We've got a special guest here tonight. Come over away from the light a little bit. Come on over here. Uh, we have the unknown video file wait here second, tonight. Wait a second, wait a second. Open up to a wide shot here. I want to do my Chuck Ferris imitation. <laughs> All right, right here. <laughs> okay, it's time for the unknown video file. Say a few words. Was that done? This video, by the way, is his bag. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. I, the, the writers are. Are we straight. are we getting audio out there? I am the unknown video file. When the rest of you guys get busted, I will be free. I will be free. I collect. A Oh, look who it is! Wait a second. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Shine the bright light on him. I got a complete Disney collection. <laughs> I have Bonds, all of the uncut Bonds. I have Superman, Alien. Yeah, I have bonds. the Black Hole. Have I have all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now I, on the other hand, have only Cartravision tapes <laughs> of roller derbies. What, what's your name? We didn't get your real name. I'm Marv Long, and I'm from uh, Fremont, Ohio. <laughs> Fern, Ferndale, Michigan is really more like it. C catch, him, catch him as he hobbles. This man, this man, this man was with us when? In May? Five, May, right. five and a half months ago, the man, I went and tapped on his leg, and it was a solid cast. He was in a solid leg cast from bre breaking his leg. You'll and you're, wh what that. the heck is this that you're still wearing? I've got a brace on now, and my leg is healing very slowly. Uh, my doctor tells me I'm a slow healer. It's been five months. What can I tell you? Five months. Right. All right, and but I'm happy to be here, and uh, oh yes, speak into the right. lens. I'm happy if Ray to be turns here. the light around, we'll even have more light on the sun. <laughs> That's met a lot of nice people, and uh, really having a good time. I'm glad. What you can are. I tell you? I'm glad you are. Yes. Thanks for coming all the way up from Wheelersburg, Ohio, Where which is, is at the southern tip near the Ohio River. It's a beautiful city. Uh, Come on down. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Also, one of our more illustrious members who only shows up for these special occasions. <laughs> Why is that? WEWS TV5, Cleveland. Here he is. Right. Mr. Maskey. Now, Thank you, Now, you can you, say whatever you'd like to. Hey, we're having a good time. We really are. I want we're... you especially to say hi to Joe. We're All right. We want to say hello to Joe Mazzini out in California. And tell him what you thought of that footage. I and, thought it was terrific. And, and tell him what you thought of that little fight scene there. with his That was great. He needs some Louis. practice, though, because he's got to beat that guy the next time. No, we're having a good time. I've got my wife and children here, right? This is Diane. She's four years old. Right here. Hi, Diane. Get a little close up here. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm the only one that brought my family, and I don't recommend it, but they're having a good time, though. What'd you have for dinner? We're having a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, this thing's getting bigger and bigger. Every time we meet new people, and uh, we're getting a lot of good tapes and having a lot of fun. A lot of good stuff. And, Turn that uh, way, though. See okay. the I want the light on your face. Okay, and, and Chuck put on a great buffet, right? Come on in here, Chuck. He no longer owns this place, by the way. That's true. I know That's that. right. After he's the he's la- after back the last, in the apartment business. After the last yeah. Yeah. How are you doing, Chuck? I'm doing good, Walt. How are you doing? We're doing great. We're having we a have great fun? time. Great time. The food was terrific tonight. Yes. The food was very good. It's what? much better since I sold the place. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rumor that's yeah. going around. Why don't you take over? You and I take over and right. have fun. Hey, thank you. Very you know why don't we back up I here? Think, I think Because I want to get some light on us here, okay? Why don't we... Maybe somebody could swing that light just around a pinch because I think we've got a lot of shadows here and I just want to, uh, oh, don't let it fall though. Any audio? Yes, we are. We're on. What we, why is it you screw up every time I get on? I'm sorry, Chuck. Happy birthday, Mark. Thank you very much. Today's ours. Today or tomorrow? Well, and a few more hours. We have to sing happy birthday to Art on camera tonight. Yeah, yes, absolutely. We'll say that for the end. Please. We'll say that for the big finale. Yeah, uh, what a big did, finale. Did we get a shot of the uh, tote board over there with all the stuff we got? Yeah, we're, we're going to work our way over there. Okay. Um, but okay. we're just, we just want to get everybody on first. We'll put that at the end also. Okay. Save the biggies right. for last, okay? okay. We, one of the people we want to get on here, though, because he has to get back to fix machines. Oh, Rick Rodowdy. Yes, we yes. have. Oh. We have uh, come in here. Just step right in. Who cares? Hey. Hey. This is Rick. Hey, come in. Come in for. Okay, come in for reasonably tight bus shots of us. You know, in other words, you know, that was uh, the cameraman's fingers in front of the lens. You see? We're, we're, we're huh? Huh? Who? Back up a little. Mic up a little. Mic up a little. Mean, we, this is one of those kind of mics. Well, we should no use mind. a different mic. You'll see, you want to use mine because mine's much better. This is not a Sony microphone. No, let's. Mine, you can hold it down here and you can hear everything. Want to switch? Hold on. S- stop. Are you sure? It's okay. Because it does sound muddy to me. It really does. All right. Are you sure now? Because I do have a really good Sony microphone. Good. And I am in. Inter- Maybe we should use the Sony mic. Are you sure? All right. All right, no more edits, because this does sound muddy, but, you know, it's a... Cr- what? That's right. Wards, oh, my God. Real Radio Shack. Radio Shack. Radio Shack. <laughs> I mean, Radio how Shack. could you do this to us? Tacky, uh, tacky. Radio Shack. All right, first of all, a good cameraman puts us towards the top of the picture there, Chris, so uh, bring us down. <laughs> <laughs> I give up, folks. You know, what can I say? <laughs> Look at this. Are you going to try and get us in trouble? Come on. Anyway, Rick, what do you think of this? Is this is this madness, huh? I think we're all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why why are we here? We don't know. It's a it's a, it's a sickness. Uh, uh, he even brought you. Uh, would does Patty? Would Patty? Patty want to come over here for a second, sure. Patty? You know, sure. he's the, he the only one that brought a woman. <laughs> uh, come on, hurry up. Come on there. And uh, Patty, 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 have you ever seen so many crazy people in all your life? No, it's insanity. <laughs> I know, isn't it unbelievable? This is worse it's than great. And what you see in your it's own. It's almost as much fun as working at Sony. Almost. <laughs> no, just make sure they don't see this tape. We'll all be okay. <laughs> Rick right. has been working on machines here, doing uh, little modifications and uh, right. fixing some machines and replacing right. some parts and, and what have you. And of course, you can't get any better than, than he because he's uh, he's very good at it. That's right. Uh, number one Betamax man in the country, and then went world. on to wear, win the world title over right. in Japan. And uh, enjoyed it over there, I guess, pretty much. Talking to the microphone, you didn't do it. Well, talking. I know, but I, <laughs> is this microphone that sensitive? You really have to aim it this way? Okay, I hope so. You know, I mean, this had to cost at least a five bucks. No, <laughs> it's a $3.99 special. At radio, yeah. $2.99. All right. The Kmart's. Well, we just wanted to have everybody on this tape to say hi, so uh, we're going to send you back into the little room. We've got Good. a suite for you to do some repairing, right? What are you Good. working on right now? Um, SL, SL 3000's uh, doing a muting defeat. We're having a special today, 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks for muting defeat. <laughs> Two for 35. Two for 35. Two for 40. All right. you, get, you, get, you get back there, okay, and you do, right. do some more fixing, all right? Thanks for stopping by. Next guy over here, come all the way from Arkansas. Arkansas. How do we say that, Arkansas? No, right. Uh, Arkansas in the Ar- way? That is Arkansas. Where are you from? I come from Fort Smith, Arkansas. Where is that near? Uh, 
It's near Little Rock, Arkansas, state capital. K A A Y. Little right. Rock, Arkansas. 1090 on 1090 the dial. 1090 on the dial. Speak right into the lens oh, there. Oh, yeah. You tell them all about which. Uh, tell them how everybody should be here next time. Don't miss it. Everybody, I'm here. I've had a lot of fun, even though I come 900 and something miles. Ooh. But I had a real good time. You I drove. drove. Ooh. My yeah. name is Gene Lisi. <laughs> Gene Lisi. I come to see Ray Glasser and Gary Herman, Art and Steve Comet. And all these other people that I've seen on tapes from other conventions. Oh, I've he's a, sorry he's done it. <laughs> I've had a real good time. Thank I'm you, glad Art. you did. How glad you did. Can you say that? Three dollars. <laughs> we'll give it to you later. I only have chair. Here, here's the money. <laughs> anyway, uh, next on our tape, why don't we bring in none other than Mr. Mr. Video, Mr. Mr. Colorful. Mr. Colorful. Now wait a second. Do you have a good shot here? I don't know that our light is right here because we got this thing on the no, side. It's giving shadow. us very strong very shadow. shadow. Why don't we why don't we shoot why don't we stand over here, okay? Is that is that a little bit better? Is that a little better, Mr. Cameraman? How are we doing? We're <laughs> Chris Pearson's on camera and he's saying to himself, never will I do this again. But it's got a good camera. Right. I'd like to make I don't like this microphone. I know, it works get... fine for me. I'd like to make three very special hellos at this time if I might. Can I go get mine while you talk? Sure. At All the right. fall nineteen seventy nine Ohio video con. Number one to Carrie Decker and family whom uh, we'll be seeing in about three weeks down in Orlando, Florida. And uh, he'll, probably, he'll probably be seeing a copy of this tape in person for uh, the first time ever. Secondly, to Aunt Jane up in Detroit, Michigan, who wrote a fantastic article for video file number 21 about the confessions of a video widow. Very, very good article. And number three, to a lady I left behind in Cleveland today for the first time in four months, and uh, my woman Michiko, whom I miss very dearly. And uh, I wish you could be here, but uh, I know you've got to go out and make that money. I just want to say, miss you, baby. But we're having a very, very good time here. We've got about 54 machines and somewhere between 40 and 50 people this time. And uh, it's just fantastic. A lot of uh, good movies, a lot of old stuff, a lot of new stuff. And uh, the typical going crazy and everything else. And uh, it's far from over. I can see going way into the wee hours of the morning and coming up probably sometime late tomorrow afternoon Sunday. By the way, this is September 29th, 1979. And uh, this is our third somewhat major convention of uh, 1979. And uh, I think our next one we'll probably see next spring. I think Art's unpacking his microphone from somewhere, a Sony mic. So we're going to have no audio for a couple seconds here. See, I got a Sony microphone now. A Sony of his own, folks. Yeah, I want you to notice the difference. Listen to the difference. Wait a second. What the fuck is this? Stop up. Wait a second. This is, the wrong, is this the wrong kind of connection? Hold sure on, is. folks. It's the wrong kind. Yeah. You can, there thank it is. Chris, you can thank uh, Chris Pearson. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go get another cord, and you interview the next guy. Because okay. you're as colorful as I Yo, am. You're as good as I am more, look at that shirt, right. man. I know. Okay, Sam, that. up, up. This is, you've heard of, uh, what can I say? This is Sam the VHS man from Cleveland among the beta folks. You can call me Ray, and, and you, you can, can call, call me Jay. Jay. But she doesn't have, have to, to call, call me Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. Four o'clock in the morning, I hear this from this guy. Seven nights a week. Come here. Hey, how you doing this time? Are you Hi, Paul. Uh, still Quiet. awake? Hi, Paula. I wanted to say hello if you're going to see this tape. I want you to know I'm dying. <laughs> no, I'm dead. <laughs> He's dead. I'm this dead. Is recording. I'm looking at myself on TV, and, and it doesn't do like a shit. thing for me. Really. Sam. This doesn't do a thing for you either. <laughs> That's all the matzos. All right. Who haven't we gotten? Oh, Bozo knows. Jim Novotny, uh, X2 collector and pneumatic collector from Cleveland, right? Okay. True, true, true. I got to make uh, put out one question that no camera tape is complete without, and that is, is Joe, Joe going to see, see this? this? <laughs> so now we got that all the way. I just want to mention yeah. that I am from the greater west side of Cleveland. I don't know what's great about it. <clears throat> well, that's because you're not there that often. That's true. Well, that's about all I have to say, so I'll turn it back to you and whoever else has come along. I must also make mention that Jim is the one who always brings those nice little Bally Home Computer video games, which makes it for a lot of fun when, when we get right sick and tired of looking at all the, uh, I feel like I'm on ABC, of all the movies that we're dubbing. Well, exit one. Brought my machines in room. Go. Enter another. Did the volume just triple, <laughs> I hope? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good now, microphone. I know, it's a very good mic. Now, just watch that we don't get the chorus messed up. Okay, we, we I'm won't. I'm done. I'm, I'm dry. You're done? You're dry? I'm okay, dry. go get a drink. Okay. Thank you. The next guy that we're going to bring out of this tape is a fellow paisan. Hey, I'll take some pepperoni, a little pineapple, make it Hawaiian. You know what I'm saying? Sounds very good. Hey, what kind of... This guy, this guy works at a pizza shop in Cleveland. What's the name of the place? Carlos Pizza. Carlos Pizza? What's your name? 82 and 43 is the location, 
This is my first uh, appearance on a video convention yeah. and uh, had a lot of fun. And uh, say that to them. All I can They're see the that would be smart to say was come and visit me if you're ever visiting that city of Aurora where SeaWorld and Joga Lake is. I'm at the corner 82 and 43. Have the best pizza in town and lots discount? of cold beer. I'll buy everybody a beer. Uh oh, you heard it right there. Okay, okay thanks a lot. It's Iron City beer, by the way. That's <laughs> thanks a lot there, Carl. Also, a new face that we've never had at one of our conventions before is Bob Davis from uh, Garfield Heights, Ohio. Garfield Heights is where? Uh, that's uh, right around the corner from Cleveland. Right around the corner from Cleveland? Right. So it's one of the suburban Cleveland areas. Right. A true VCO video collector oh, of Ohio. definitely. What do you think of all this, huh? This is fantastic. I never thought uh, this place really existed. <laughs> uh, and now you're sure it doesn't, right? Ray Glasser and uh, Gary Herman mentioned it to me, and I said, no, nah, you can't. This, you know, this, this place can't exist. we got to get raided tonight. <laughs> Don't say that. I, Don't even But I come prepared. I got a bail bondsman's. In Fremont here, uh, if anybody gets arrested, I got guaranteed bail bonds for everybody here. And uh, Come, do me a here's do the me bail a bondsman right here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Do here he is. This is our bail bondsman, Mr. Bonds. Cameraman. On some of these shots, could you get in a little closer here so that we don't have? <laughs> no, I mean you don't have to come in and pick off uh, <laughs> facial flaws, you know. But I just like a, some nice close shots here and who we got here uh harold davis harold davis right you got I'm, the same uh, name as he does that's correct are you guys related yes we're brothers we're brothers okay we're getting in this hook line and sinker uh, yeah. fantastic <laughs> hooked, one of a kind line, and now you're gonna you're, you're, right, you're sinking right. fast all right speak right of the lens there and well uh, folks, what they think my brother the one you just met he's got the money and i got the time right now so and i got just, the beer you got right, the time that's I it got the beer, that's right. exactly what we've done and uh we decided to pool our resources and uh, we each got a machine. Oh, here, right, there the you go. There. Yeah, let's, that's, that's their slogan. let's put in a plug here for Miller's, right? Okay. So, uh, so yeah. And we live. Uh, we got started with uh, Gary and uh, Ray, just like you said. And uh, right now we're in a process of just building up our library. We got about over 100 tapes already, and uh, you're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly right. but surely. We're getting there. Slowly but surely. What we'd like to get in here next is we have somebody else from the great Hello, state everybody. of Ohio. Come on in. Get you guys over here, and uh, this is a gentleman by the name of. David. Let's come in a little closer here. It's the heck with you. What, what's your name? David Scott. David. Dave, David Dave, Scott. Dave Scott. Why don't you right. speak into the camera? So okay. That's uh, yeah. I'm usually on the other side of the uh, camera. Okay. You are. Where are you um, from, Dave? Springfield, Ohio. That's near Dayton, isn't it? Very near Dayton, yes. So he very cautiously came up I-75. In the with fog. his fuzzbuster on right. the dashboard and in the fog. In the fog. <laughs> you know to do all this. And uh, you've got some nice stuff you brought up, which we really appreciate, and uh, contributed greatly to our little gathering here. Uh, very happy. Do you think you'd ever want to do this again? Uh, What's absolutely. Your opinion of this thing? Next week, I think we ought to have another one next week, possibly. Let's just not even leave here. Your house. <laughs> your house next, <laughs> right? Well, listen, we want to thank you very much for coming on up and uh, appreciate your uh, driving the distance because we think that it was, uh, hope you think it was well worth it, okay? Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Dave. All right, boy. Now, who came? Who came the farthest, all right? I'm coming in. Did I'll, I win that? Did I come here, farthest? we're going to stand right here. We're going to stand right here because I want lots of light on us here. Because I want everybody to see this, even though you look like you just escaped from jail with this outfit, Fred. I changed my shirt right. just for the, uh, for the taping. Okay, we got to look that way, though, because I want that light to get us. Swing that light maybe just our hair around, Chuck, now that we're, we're coming. Well, it's a bright light, but we got to aim it in the, in, the right, in, the, in the right way here so that we get some light on the subject here. Yeah, because... We really should have a light over, a fill light over here. Nice. Well, well, we were going to walk around originally, you know. There we go. Yeah, maybe un disconnect that. Just open the flap. Yeah, we're all right. Well, there's plenty of light there. Okay, there's plenty of light, I guess. All right. Oh, oh, wait a second. No, no, turn it around. There goes the Viticon in my camera. I haven't been to sleep since Wednesday night, and I'm real pleased to be here. Well, As you know, I'm a Teamster. I drive a truck for the Coca-Cola Company in Wenatchee. Wait, so Fortunately, got, I didn't bring here. a single I'm tape. This way, so I Fortunately, I did not bring a single look tape right here. Into the, lens. the only things that I have on videotape are films in the public domain. <laughs> I was just real pleased to come here. And you we believe really that? We've well. got uh, <laughs> we, we, we've got we've got some swampland in area code 609 that we'd like to sell you. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so now he's gone from a tight. Now, see, I'm talking. Fred's not saying a word. We got a tight shot on. T Thank you. <laughs> I'm so glad. Anyway, Fred McGee, I think, came the farthest distance of anybody that came to the video con. Where is Where is uh, Rob? That we have to find Rob Adams. If somebody could. Uh, Bring him Rob over here. here. He's catching yeah. these mild little hints here, because almost get him over here. Almost. Come on, we're wasting time. This happened last time. See, folks. Well, I uh, I had to catch a plane at 6 a.m. to get here last night. Yeah. And uh, I can tell everyone that this is a long way from where I live. I had to stop in Chicago, which is really an armpit. Detroit wasn't nearly as bad as Chicago. I was really surprised. But Chicago was really a busy, smelly, loud airport. I want you to turn around now so that this but camera That's no gets offense to Bob Weinberg or <laughs> Larry Weinberg. Sherritt. There are a couple people oh, there, in oh, Chicago. Larry Sherritt, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just loves the Avengers. Well, that's right. All those hard-to-get things off Channel yeah. 9. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Now... Now we got to, uh, that's it, open it up just a little. I like to see, at first we had nothing but wide shots, now, okay, yeah. yeah this, I have a disc, I have bought no, no, three disc machines, no, no, no. I kept one. You were talking, you said I distance. I have 50 discs. Yes, he's talking How many miles? distance. How many miles did you come to get here? <laughs> like 3, I said, 000? I got up at 6 a.m. All right, he's how from East is, Wenatchee. How far is the West Coast from the East Coast? East that's how Wenatchee, far I came. East Washington, it's between <laughs> Seattle and Spokane. Right. He had a fly, what, about 2,500 miles to say, he had a fly to Seattle. Right which in. is three hours by car west of where he lives, right. then, then get on an airplane, here, right? fly to Chicago, then connect it to go to Detroit, and, and then the drive, drive an hour and a half here from Detroit. Right, and now. I haven't slept since Wednesday. <laughs> He's going to sleep real good tonight, you aren't you? I will. Anyway. I'll get lots of sleep tonight when I'm yeah. dubbing all these <laughs> films that are in <laughs> the public some, domain yeah, that we acquired right. here. That's right. Well, Freddie, uh, you get the prize for coming the farthest, but right behind you, Mr. Uh, See, I would have been very clever, Rob, if you were standing behind him at that point, and I could say right behind you, and then he comes right around. But uh, the guy that you drove here with, we all see the Coke. I mean, the man works for the Coca-Cola bottling company, Wenatchee. I know you never I work for Budweiser, figured. But, uh, and right here, right here is, step right over, step right in here. We want to get some light on you here. We just need some light on your faces here. Right here is none other than Rob Adams. And where are you Miami, Florida. Proud of it. Happy to be here. Appreciate y'all uh, inviting us up, y'all. And that's uh, Mama Talk. He wants the next one to be in the winter time so he can see real snow. <laughs> we don't get much snow, of course, there in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we get even less of it down in Miami, but uh, I sure wish we had something going like you guys and uh, the camaraderie here. And uh, it's really been super. Uh, when's the next one? I'm ready. He says he wanted to see a little snow. I told him to disconnect the antenna off the back of his set, but he didn't find any humor in that, uh, as, 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 did, <laughs> as did you either, judging from the reactions of that last line. Anyway, listen, so you came up on the airline. Um, Delta was ready when you are, right? Right. But you work for which airline? I work for National this week. I don't know who I'll work for next week. Well, if you're Maybe Pan Am. But If you're uh, working for some airline next time, I hope it's one that comes into Detroit and that you can come up for the next one. I okay? sure do. If, even if they don't, I'll be here. All I right. guarantee you, I'll be here. Even if I got to hawk something, I'll be here. Well, listen, I got, I got a guy that didn't get on the last one, but he's going to get on this one. If Joe Lopez comes on over here, get over here, you... Get over here, bum. We're going to... Huh? We got... We're <laughs> carrying... Carrying lots of good stuff here. Let's see here. The we have the news. The new Star Trek movies here. We have the black hole. What else do we? <laughs> a lot of good stuff in there. Anyway, Joe Lopez, you from the, from Belleville, Michigan. That's near Detroit, between Ann Arbor and Detroit, right? Right. Right. And what do you what do you think of all this? I think it's great. I just got a seventh generation copy of the Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, and I'm leaving right now. <laughs> It only has... Come in tight for this guy, boy. Come in tight for this guy. It only has 72 severe glitches <laughs> in the first half. The second half goes in and out. Can you hear this? <laughs> All right, listen. Seriously, this is the best thing that ever happened to somebody. And if we find the guy... We should hey, all pat him on the back. Some, said some, say something to Ed Hoagland at Sony that he's going to be here at the next one, right? <laughs> <laughs> I owe that to him, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a lot. Next time, we're going to have some good people. Here, I'll tell you what. We got, we got people from all sides of the border. Look at this. Hey. And this sparkling, this sparkling blue. Thank Look. you. 
Come Thank in you. on that. Come in on yeah, that. Get a good close See up that? there. Borea Salming, I'd like you to take a look. Thank you. Thank number you. what? What number? Borea Salming 21 from Sweden. All right. Okay. Well, this is this is none other than uh, Robbie Warner. And Robbie, I met when you were living in a palatial lakefront uh, apartment in in, in <laughs> what, what suburb of Cleveland was that? Euclid. Euclid. <laughs> Euclid. And, oh. And if anybody could, Euclid. Ah, thank <laughs> oh, you. I'm sorry. Oh, anyway. You should be. I'm well, like I said, the writers are on strike. I'm doing the best I possibly can. And he was uh, on a big high rise there, and I first met him. And uh, uh, which one? The I don't Watergate. Know. The Watergate. Yes, the Watergate. <laughs> so, so that's he, right. I left though before it he burned. Can, he can appreciate the place burned down. The lobby. Holy cow. Anyway, so you're living where now? I'm living in Toronto. The good. The good? Toronto the good compared to Cleveland the bad. All right. Now, <laughs> speaking right into the lens and coming Thank to you. the outside chat, why don't Thank you tell you. what you think of all this, all right? I have to say that this is the most insane group of people that I've ever seen, but the nicest bunch of guys. I'm thrilled to be here, and uh, I've got this tape stuck in my hand. I get it in the camera because I can't get it out of my hand. It's stuck, and I really want to thank everyone for letting me come here because we don't have Showtime and HBO, and how else would everyone in Canada how get else, these tapes? How else will we get them all? Well, listen, I'm just glad I had a chance to say hi to you, and, I'm, and I hope you'll come to the next one. I definitely you will. You are cordially invited. Thank you. I accept. All That's right. Possible. Thank well, we gotta, you. we got to get the, the rest of the people on here very quickly, because we are running out of time. Our cameraman, who's been cameraman all this time, Mr. Chris, Chris Hitchcock, as you can tell what? by... What? I mean, Mr. Chris Pearson, excuse right, me. Right. I get the Chris's mixed up. You know, I'm sorry. I always miss it, my Such Chris. Such a popular name. Anyway, yeah, you can see by the shirt that he works for United Parcel. <laughs> anyway, no, no, Chris. Uh, yeah, Chris. Uh, what do you do? Quickly. I'm. Uh, I work at a college. Thank TV you. Department. We're so glad you came. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Just pay me my money and I'll leave. Yes. I work at a college TV department. You do. Yes. In video. Yes. The whole bit, huh? Yeah. That's hey, why you're big, so good. You made the, you made the intro that we have. Yes, on this I day? made the intro. It only took me three and a half hours to edit it together. And all? it's only two minutes long. Oh. Well, it was good. Are, are you impressed? It was good. For those of you uh, who want to take another look, just, uh, you know, rewind the tape and take another look. at. Yeah, but not now, because we're not quite done yet. Almost. We're racing the clock here, because we want to get this thing finished before it gets, you know, any later, because everyone wants to get back to doing their dubbing and everything. I'd like to get... Can we get Mr. Uh, no. Mr. Mud over here? Mr. Mr. Wynn Rosenberg and Mr. Steve... Co now, come on, you guys. Now, you got to be a sport. All right, these are the radio people walking right in front of the camera. <laughs> Didn't they do something like this the last time? You know, they walked right in front of the camera. Who do we have? Steve Comet. Known as the Steve video Com file. Ah, uh, the video file, right. The guy in the shadows on the Channel 5. On Channel did 5. you see that? Yes, I did. Yeah. I've got a dub of it. And I had everyone here in the room call me and said, hey, I saw you on TV tonight, so it didn't do a darn bit of good. And? Wynn Rosenberg. Where do you work with? I work at um, WDMT in Cleveland. 108 Stereo, your disco connection, but we all, well, I should wear my Disco Sucks t-shirt from FM 104 in Toledo. That would have been... Well, <laughs> anyway, what do you think of this one compared to others, real quickly here? Uh, disco Sucks, right, yeah. Why do they call you Mr. Media? Why? Because I'm supposed to know something about the business that I'm in, but I, it's really just a con game. I don't know a damn thing about okay. it, but you know. Are you getting any good stuff? You enjoying it? We just had some down the bar, some really good stuff. From <laughs> Now we're gonna now we're gonna get some movies. There is no semblance of order here. I'd like to get the few uh, the few that we didn't get on, and I didn't Hi, get, I didn't get my best friend on. Get over here, you klutz! Here, get in here. Wait, let go. Who are you holding? I'm not on holding on anybody. All right, all right. This is this is probably one of the closest friends I have in the entire world. Not so. <laughs> I'm from New York. Remember? Stu Solid Golds. If, if you're not liquid, what are you? Solid. Who's this? Hey, I don't know. He just wants to always sit there and get in the picture. I don't understand. Well, you never know. It was a high Jewish holiday. Is she from New York? Huh? I don't know. But I'd like to... Anyway, listen. Stu, I'm just... Stu was here a week ago. We had to fly him back to make sure he'd come back again. Wait what the heck are you doing? Is he doing something behind me that... No. no. Anyway, Stu is... Stu, Stu came all the way back. You came back. 
Uh, I came, like did you come back? I came back. Yeah, is that why you got those rings under your <laughs> eyes? I don't here, understand. Yeah. Anyway, what do you think of this one compared to the last one that we had? I think it's a good one compared to the last one that we had. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Why uh, Hi, Dad. Why tell, Hi, Michael, why David, tell Nancy. Joel Schwartz never to miss another one of these. Joel, how could you miss it? You I know. mean, I understand DAI and ABC and all that, but really. <laughs> really. Yeah, it just isn't the same way. I mean, now that you're an urban boy. Ripping again. open whoops, <laughs> ripping open his shirt. <laughs> it's okay, folks. Mazzini, when are you going to realize that the uh, coast anyway. is not the be all in the end all. If I can come from New York, you can make it from uh, California, right? Yeah, Joe should be here. Joe, we should, I tell you, wouldn't that be the highlight to get Joe Mazzini and Mark Wheelodge together? All right, well, listen, thank you for coming. Well, uh, happy birthday, Art, and thank, thank you. you very we'll see much. you soon. Bye. Good friend, good friend. All right, listen. You know, you want, we could really gross out the camera if we unzip this, right? Now. Did we get everybody on this thing? We didn't. We, get, we, forgot, this, we, forgot, we forgot Bill Frank, and then we're going to wrap this. This is a muscular chest. We want, get a, this. Hey, Don. Hi, Hibby. Riley. Here, quickly. Quickly, because we're running late. We're running late. Here, look at this. Proud as a peacock. Get a shot of that shirt. Come on in on there. Okay, Don Riley's from WKMI, right? Where is that? You got it. Kalamazoo. And I want to be the first to say shit, hell, and damn on your <laughs> tape, Art. <laughs> What do you think of this? <laughs> I have completely lost control. You Here, got it. What did you like to, come on, before you go back to... You've got a good radio voice. Thank you. <laughs> I ought to do disco someday. He were doing disco. <laughs> and it didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. Anyway. Disco sucks. All right. Oh, tell, just, just <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'm so good. Hey, look, just you real quickly, real quickly, because we are running late. This is a shot we have. Can you get a little shot of the blackboard? Come in close. Don't get the camera in. The, the blackboard shows all the various things that we're d dubbing here so there's, that we haven't gotten done. Everybody's complaining. If, if, if people get out of the light, we're going we, to... Okay, Bill, Bill just, to, Bill, just to let him know that he was here. Okay, Ohio. Ohio is a four-letter word, but we wanted I'd to like get to. Along Thank this. you for inviting me here, Art. Just don't eat the microphone again. We all know what that means. <laughs> yes. And we forgot Uncle Steve. My God, how can we forget Uncle Steve? Get yourself over here. Well, you guys got to line up the talent for me. Do you think Carson? Do you think Carson lines up the guests? Hey, how you doing? What guy? do you think, huh? Happy, happy birthday, you are. Thank you very much. Really, I, I don't know whether it. anybody else is remembered, but just in case Nobody, they have I expected at happy least birthday. a cake. I you know, have, nothing. I have been authorized by everybody here tonight to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. They all realized just before I came on camera that they had forgotten to wish you a happy birthday. So from all of us here, happy birthday to Art. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. What, yeah. what do you, what do you, what do you, just make your little pitch to everybody that they better be here, all be here at the next one, okay? Uh, especially, yeah, especially everybody Joel here. Joel Schwartz, you know. Joel Schwartz. What about Aunt Jane? And Aunt Jane. We, Aunt, now, we want Aunt Jane. She's now really officially... That's right. We want her. We want her here. I mean, Rick Ridotti brought his wife. Why can't you bring yours? <laughs> now she's gonna expect to come. Sure. Thanks, guy. Okay. Appreciate it. For sure. And, and who? And Chris Hitchcock. Very quickly, Jerry, come on over. Where are you from? Get, where are you from? We didn't get that. Springfield. Springfield, Ohio. And you're Dave. Right. Did you right. come up with uh, Scott, uh, right. Dave Scott? Dave Scott. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, what do you think of all this? Just tell them to the magic eye there what your opinions of this thing. This is the magic eye That's right That's the here. magic eye right there, yeah. That's hey, a nice place one? to go to meet fanatics, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> get you a satanic mechanic, too, right? Okay. It's time out for Chris Hitchcock. All right. Oh, come on, Joseph. Come on down. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this man! Look at this man! Look at this! What the, what the drink? What the drink? Oh. Hi, Steve. Is that a real one? Yes. I thought that was one of those kinds that say one hour martinizing. You know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, my good friend from the Motor City. Anyway, so uh, Chris, uh, what do you think of this? Is it your first time you've made it to one of these? Yes. Uh, it's actually been. I did. I wasn't even invited to this one though. You just crashed, well, huh? Well, I was supposed to receive an invitation in the mail, and it never got to me. Well, that's so the mails I, for you. Ah. Next time we'll try ah, the females. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm, one, I'm wondering if uh, anyone here has a tape called Donald Duck Goes to Bozo Land. No, I'm working on it. Are you? Okay, yeah, good. We'll get, good. We'll get it. Well, listen, I'm glad you made it. Uh, get the heck out of here so I can hey, do the big finish. I, I wish there was something here I could pick. But no, there's nothing there. There's you, nothing can, there. You, know, you know how it goes. Anyway, listen, to all you guys in the West Coast, they all saw the tape. 
They saw Mark Wheelage out in front of Audio Video Craft. They saw Joe Mazzini and Louie fighting out in the parking lot. They saw the whole sticko. And we're just, uh, center me up a little there. I'm, um... Wait, I'd like to do a magic trick if I can. Okay. You can leave it now, Chris, because the art's Wait, taking over. Wait, what are you going to do? Yeah. I'm going to do... You got to do... You gotta do this very fast because right. we're running out of time. I and like take. it. This has never been done before. You ready? You ready? <laughs> well, here. Got me, got me in focus. I want you to know this has been the craziest birthday that I've ever had in my whole life. I will be in exactly two hours, another, another year older. But uh, not another year wiser. I thoroughly enjoyed. I thoroughly enjoyed it, even though nobody bothered to sing Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. Oh, it's too late, guys. Happy Birthday to you. It's too late. Happy Birthday to you, Carson. Happy Birthday to you. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Hall where where we're lined up tonight. Let's uh, see if anyone's in room 200 here. Yeah, who's there? This is a Federal Bureau of Investigation here. We'd like to see what titles you have. <laughs> Wait a second here. Who's coming to the door? Who's here? <laughs> hey, I told you guys before. Whoa! You can't come in. This is a private. This uh, private. Is there a video file in the house? It's, I don't know. No, the, seriously, you guys can't come this in. This is, is a, private business. Are you from a TV station? I don't want to say that these guys are worried. <laughs> but the, We've just taken the, a shower. The humidity is not that high. Can't <laughs> anyway, uh, can this is Steve. In? This is Ray. Ray, come on in. Take uh, a hello, shot here. Hello, hello. And uh, Ray and I, of course, uh, along with Chuck, coordinated this whole thing. I think we'll keep everything pretty much on a first name basis, too. That's a good idea. No last names. Good idea. You see, that way we'll drive them nuts. That's Let's see right. how many Chucks, exactly Rays, right. and Arts are there in area code 419. For sure. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. don't. Go the <laughs> yeah, come on in here. Let's take a look and come see on what's in. going on. Okay. And there, through the magic, yeah, through the magic of television. And here's Chuck. Because <laughs> you're bigger than I am. Okay. This looks like Coke. Smells like Coke. No, it smells like... No, it's sugar-free Dr. Pepper, isn't it? So I can tell by the smell. Anyway, keep it. Keep the name of the hotel hidden there. So okay. we and we're on a first name basis this year only. Yeah. Yes, and we're keeping it clean. Well, Bob, I, <laughs> I really enjoy this video con, and all right. I don't well, think I'll ever come to another one though. It's too far south for me. Well, uh, <laughs> anyway, we we tried. We had another outstanding meal. <clears throat> Same thing as we had last time, and That's the right. time before, That's and right. the time before. Would you like that. something different next, <laughs> next time? Next time, next time we're gonna have Wendy's <laughs> cater it, right? But it, <laughs> now Wendy's here, I'm told is bad. So uh, Wendy's we'll, is bad everywhere. Yeah. Well, no, I yes, think it's it no, good it's most bad. places. Grease but anyway, butters. grease. Well, we'll talk about that later, off camera. Off camera. So anyway, uh, but Chuck. And Ray and myself, we all kind of coordinated this thing. We had fun, I think. Uh, I think next year we're going to do the individual room thing. Here comes Ray. Okay. Yeah, come on. There's the three of us. Look at this. See I our mean, names all the time. I mean, with the, with these shirts. Right. I mean, are we colorful? A little bit of red. I hope this is showing this up. This is Ohio red. State colors. I'm yes. from Missouri. But yes. I'm from uh, Florida. Ohio State, and I'm from somewhere in the Upper Gold Peninsula. Blue. Is that why they're right. blue? <laughs> Gold blue. Anyway, Gold uh, but. But anyway, so this is a little <laughs> hospitality suite. We don't want to take a lot of time here. Uh, Wait a minute. Well, you okay, to, I'm going to... You want to tell everybody what town we're in and what tapes we've got here? No, we don't want to <laughs> no. tell what town... <laughs> no, I've said we're somewhere in area code 419. You right. guys can't dub this. Okay, you listen. This is, this is Lloyd Friedman. Where are you from, Lloyd? California. Where are you from, Lloyd? <laughs> Los Angeles. I didn't mean to say his last name. That's right. This is Lloyd. I'm sorry. He doesn't know. Forget that last name. You're from where? Los Sorry. Angeles. No, where are you really from? New York. Okay, he's from New York. How many Lloyds? I listen, with a name like yours, there's got to be five pages of people with your same last name in New I'm York. I'm not listed. Okay, into the camera. Why don't you tell the folks what you think of the video con here, your first one you've ever attended? Well, since they, re they released me from Bellevue, I think this is very sane and normal and very interesting. That's ca I'm on camera. You know, these guys that are into videotape have no way of relating to the magic eye. God love you. Sit down. Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> listen, you can see also that uh, we have nice phones here. They were stolen from the Howard Johnson's Motor Lodge. All right. Where, where, uh, where, what do we got here? Your name, is, your name is Paul, and where are you from, Paul? New Hampshire. Whereabouts in New Hampshire? New Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> Whereabouts in New Hampshire? Uh, 
New Hampshire. Uh, this man, this man, especially, he has a, a company uh, he makes broken records. <laughs> He's just giving you a sample of one of his I best ones. I've had a stuttering problem all my life, and what the hell, it's New Hampshire. Okay, well, now how long have you been a Mel Tillis fan? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, listen, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Was it oh, worth yeah. a flight? Oh, sure. Fly into Columbus, come up with some friends, right? Yeah. Okay, right. we won't mention who, of course. Anyway, <laughs> all right. <laughs> His last, we won't mention last names. Okay. Right. And uh, so uh, you'll see us next in the hall. The eye that. The eye that. <laughs> zoom in on that little sign down there. Zoom in on, zoom in on the sign down there. Melody time. Melody time? Yeah. This is the unknown video file. I need one of these. That's called a wireless microphone. This guy doesn't want to be disturbed. That's why he hung this little sign over here. Who else haven't we gotten yet? Hey, try to find Sam. We haven't gotten, gotten Sam yet. We're going to try to find a, a VHS man who's learned that beta is the only way to go. See, this is what we got to do. This time, the big dubbing room was hardly used at all. We might get a shot in there. It's got like three or four machines in there. Oh, very good. So it's going back in the hallway just like uh, Three Stooges or something like that. So cut it. Okay. All right. Well, We've been told to wind up this. Uh, yeah. Here we go. All the way we have. <laughs> Look at I these guys. The Lovelace. First names only. Who are you? First names. Moji. Moji. And your name? Tim. Tim. He's okay. lying. No. His name's Sam. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do, Tim? I'm in uh, securities. With with division. Uh, law enforcement. What division of law enforcement? Police officer. What did your sign say earlier? Well, that's uh, my uh, <laughs> off-duty off -duty work. Right. I'm with the FBI, really. I'm an undercover agent. I'm going to bust all these guys. Undercover. Hey, everybody hey, take all your tapes, old. put them in my truck outside. And here is a special message for the West Coast. Right here. Yeah. Mr. Fred Gay, eat your heart from Art <laughs> and I. We miss you. You yeah. better be out here in September. Bring your good stuff, because we got some stuff to send you. Well, yeah, because we, 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 of course, you'll be seeing this. I'll be bringing this to Freddie next month. He'll, I'll be out in, in, in uh, the scenic he state of Washington. You can't bring this tape huh? to him. He, he can play X1. He sure he can. Sorry about that. I'd like to say first to uh, Harry. Was <laughs> hey, I'm sorry you couldn't make it, but we had a good time. The food was great this year. The guys were less than what we anticipated. The movies were just fantastic, and there's nothing else I could say. It was just great. We missed you. A couple, a couple of really quick special hellos, as, as always. Uh, to Scott down in St. Louis, we, oh, or yeah. in Missouri, we missed you this time. To Gene out there in Arkansas, right? Arkansas. I'd like to see you down here all in the fall. Oh. And to Robbie, the other Robbie, way up there in Toronto. Yes. Hey, got to have you in the like fall. Jerry, Jerry Gutschner. Jerry who? Gutschner? From Dayton. Gutschnauer? Yeah, is that the guy's Dave's name? Scott's friend. Yeah, Dave, yeah. Dave's Jerry, friend. you got to be here next time. Yeah. And our friend Howard. Oh, yes. And Howard in St. Louis. you got to do be it. here next time because does he really, exists? He really exists. Yes, he really does. Now he's going to see a couple Howard of exists. Tape, and he's going to come up here. The mud will be here, too. Yeah, uh, and Walt and all the rest Walt. of the guys that just and didn't make it this time. And all the guys weren't able to be here this time because That's right. it was really... And we had strange weather. It snowed the other day. One day we're yeah. out in our shirt sleeves. The next day it's That's snowing. right. Well, if you don't like the weather in Ohio, wait a yeah. minute. Well, no. That's our line in Michigan, and I'm sure many other states claim the same. How's Michigan go like this? Wrong hand. I got one special message. I've only got one chance, sweetheart. If I blow it. But that's it. Guess what whose birthday it is. I'm getting to that. Oh. Watashi wa anatawo taksan koishi. Did I get it right? Yeah, Happy definitely. birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. Don't plan it on my sweetheart's birthday next year, will you? I won't. I'm you. sorry. I know. But listen, luckily he's getting married not on CES Day. They've moved the uh, Consumer Electronics Show to the That's middle right. of June That's so everybody right. can be at your wedding. And the main, uh, Go ahead. Which go will ahead. be in the beginning of June. Was it June 2nd? June 2nd, I am getting married. Believe it or not, it's going to happen. So For those of you who can't make it in person, you <laughs> can get a dub of the tape. Right. But try to be there in person. Invitations are going out to everybody I know just about. And so, so the next time we get together, he can Flash his band of gold through the pain. And the one through the nose as well. <laughs> right. Oh, we'll see you all next time. Okay, bye bye. Don't forget to go to Carlos Pizza. Bring your recorders to the wedding. Fade to black. You from somewhere in northwestern Ohio on September 27th, 1980. We are at our fall 1980 northeast northwestern Ohio video convention. And one of the highlights this time is zoom in on that little white dish. This is called an earth station or earth. 
receiving station or a satellite dish, whatever you want to call it, this is what brings in 150 plus channels off the ComSat satellites way up in the sky. And uh, one of the guys who's running the convention this, this time is experimenting with one of these, hopes to buy one in the near future. And this is what it looks like. Hey, walking up toward the old camera on your right is Fred McGee from Seattle, Washington. To your left is a real disc jockey, not an imitator like myself, Don Riley from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Say a few words to the mic. Shit, hell, and damn. Just like last year. You got it. Right, Freddy? It's your second con. What do you think of it? Oh, I'm so... Thank you very much. <laughs> it's really something, isn't it? What? What? What we're doing this weekend. We're all going crazy, getting no sleep, blowing a lot of money, right? Yes. Yes, you're a man of many words, I see, Fred. <laughs> well, I'm the one that's got to look in the fucking sun here. <laughs> Isn't that nice? <laughs> that's the way Art planned it. No Art's going to get hit by a budget rental truck if he doesn't move. And uh, very cool for late September here in uh, Ohio, I must admit. But the people in but, the state uh, called Ohio. Ohio. Only in Columbus, Ohio. Zoom in on U of W. University of Wisconsin, right? No, this is the team that smashed the Michigan Wolverines two years ago. The, in the what Rose Wolverine? Uh-oh, here we go. The Michigan Wolverine. That's, that's a hot shirt, folks. That's a hot shirt. Let's walk up to the uh, lobby. I'll just stay at and we will pile in the car, and we will go eat. Ohio, I mean Memphis, Tennessee. There's a longtime friend and comrade of mine, Randy, from Memphis, right? Yes. And this is his uh, companion who helped him make this 13-hour drive up to here from Memphis. This is Rod. Hello. How you doing, guys? What do you think after you've been here about two hours and see all the goings on here? Uh, I haven't done my first movie yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's typical. <laughs> Uh, it's been nice uh, meeting everybody I've been talking to for three years and now finally getting to meet them. Yeah. That's fantastic. That's one of the highlights of coming to these things. Yeah. And what do you think? Oh, I'm having a great time. Yeah, it's, good movies. it's just beginning too, bear in mind. We're going to get a few more guys on tape right now. And here we are outside once again with Sam, the VHS slash beta man, with a demonstration of imitation of Bruce Lee. Hit it, Sam. Hit it. Wow! Woo! See that dish? Right in the center. Get it. He's high. We're not going to see Sam pull this, his little blue truck out from under the dish and this other truck. Yeah, Come on. Taping, man. He's, he's rolling. Give me this mic. Get out of here. <laughs> Come here, dummy. Come here. Folks, we're in Fremont, Ohio. I don't know why. Polo, you're walking good. Take a picture of my tuchas. Okay, come here. See this here? I don't talk too good on these things. Come here, Ray. I got a king size schmaltz herring that's gonna talk into the mic. Look, you see this stomach? You can fit that inside that dish, this McDonald's. stomach. McDonald's. Sam, the mic hasn't been on the whole time, you know. I know. He wants some color in this. You got some color? All right. I got color. I got How color. about blue? Come on, we got brown. Come on, come on in. This is our three-quarter inch man walking in the picture right now, Chris from Cleveland. <laughs> and uh, here we are once again at, at our twice-a-year video convention with about, what, 30, 35 guys again, Art? What do you think? Give or take. Mostly take, right. With a lot of good stuff, we got a J7 here, we got an Earth satellite station here, we have a Sony special effects generator here, and we're having a good time. We're not going to go eat, we'll see you inside Wendy's. He comes to this part of Ohio with all these machines and people to jog. What's the matter with you? I just want to see how my feet stand out on the Ohio roads. Okay. Why is our turning around? Okay. This is Robbie. Anyway, this is Robbie from Toronto, Canada, right? Right. Having a good time? Absolutely the best. Great. Is the mic on? Little dish back there. The We're little having dish. dinner served on that dish tonight. On that dish. All right. Can I say HBO thank you Showtime. To both, everything. To both Ray and Art, I want hey. to thank you guys very much. My, it's my pleasure being friends with the two of you guys, hey. and it's Likewise. great being to these Likewise. things. Maybe next year I'll come twice. It'd be nice. I would like to. I would like for the, to. For the whole year. For the whole year. You said you're gonna come twice for the whole year. I hope I can. Think about it. That I oh. certainly do. We'll see you next time around. Here we are at the uh, video con in uh, Fremont, Ohio, and uh, we don't look in the camera. We don't look in the camera. Where, where are we sitting? We're sitting in the back 
Is this a Bronco we've got here? He's in the back of this Bronco driving around uh, Highway 89 in Fremont, Ohio. And uh, speed limit is 55, and we're doing a mere 63. The tires should fall out the back here fairly soon. But we're on our way to Wendy's. We will get some light refreshment. And then head back to our uh, magnificent dubbing session, as there are about 46 of us here now, and uh, 86, 87 machines. Are we taping? You want a shot of the back of my head? There. Does that red light mean that we're on? We're on our way to the most exclusive, high-priced, classiest restaurant in this entire area. Uh, it, they sell 59 cent hamburgers. Are they still 59 cents? 79 cents. A dollar 19. Dollar 59. Shut up! It's called Wendy's. <laughs> this is. I got the mic live. Oh, are we on? We're on. We are now here at the most swank restaurant in this part of northwestern Ohio. Can you recognize what this might be just by the uh, outer decor? Can you get the sign up there? This is Art Volo's favorite place known as Wendy's. We'll see you inside. Here we go. Inside, a bunch of crazy video files. We have thousands of bucks worth of equipment ordering 25 cent hamburgers, right? <laughs> Put that thing away. Okay, here we are. This is rush hour. What are you getting a zoom a close up my nose for? Here's wait a minute. That doesn't come off. Okay. Okay, walk hey. toward me. Decor, isn't that nice? See the decor? Everyone has the exact same decor. Twenty-five thousand Wendy's are all the same, right? Let's see what Jeff is gonna order up there. This guy in the all right in the little white shirt. That's what he's gonna do. They don't have Whoppers. They don't have Big Mac. They'll have a double. They have a double. You use your mic. Use mine. Nice echo in here. What do you got to drink? I'll have a fat thing. You have fat or Coke? I'll have a Coke. Oh, large. Yeah. That's awful. What you do it as soon as you get home, yeah? As soon as you get started, order. Yeah, but you can get it. That's our first big order of the day. Now we're going to hear a real one. Fred, Fred's back at the hotel. What's his name? Are we in Wendy's? We are called Jay. I would like... I would like a single lettuce tomato. What? Coffee with cream. Do I want? Boy, these things are quick, aren't they? Two twenty-four of your money. Stand by. Okay. Will you please order? What? Order. I'll uh, have double cheese. An order of fries. Let's see, uh, Coke. Yeah, Coke. Large. Large Really? This is the woman behind the hamburgers. Let me just a little demonstration of how Wendy's Here, cooks. Here's the way it really looks. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Same. I'm trying to eat. Really like Elton John with a beard. You know that, Hibby? Don't forget, guys. Don't forget about something correctly. No, he's got it elsewhere.
got the perfect copy of Empire. You're high. <laughs> I want a copy of it. Right Ooh. now, I'll call the FBI on you right now. Kiss my ass, boy. Here. He's checking me out on the old camera there. Are you recording? There you go, Raymond. Are you, are you making a tape? Oh, look, and here comes Volo and everybody. Are you making a tape? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. But are you recording? Yes, I am. All right. And this good. Huh? We are coming in. Is the mic, is the mic on? I watched. Is the mic on? Yes, yeah, sure is. Let's see what we're going to tape. Two, three. Surprise! No. Mr. Kerry Decker in Orlando, Florida. Here we are. Ray Glasser and Randy Watkins. Together. I made it. I made it. <laughs> made it. Mufus. Mufus. Two picks are in my but I made This is it. our fall 1980 video con in a usual place and everything else. It's uh, September 27th, 1980, and Randy made it after a 13 hour drive here mm -hmm. in Fremont, Ohio. 13 hours. Uh, I stayed up all night expecting him at 6 o'clock in the morning. He got here 11.30, just before noon in the afternoon. So I'm going on about one hour of sleep right now. And how many, how many movies have you gotten on tape so far since you've been here? Uh, two. Two? <laughs> you better get going, man. I'm short so, of machines. Get a close-up of Randy. Tell, tell Carrie what you uh -huh. think of your first video convention. Don't be camera shy. Say something. You're in the video, man. Uh, That's the right. guys That's up here are really nice. They really are. Now, be uh, honest. Be honest. Well, I lied. They're not. They're really crummy. Uh, <laughs> They, they got a lot of nice stuff up here, and uh, I, you well, know, what do you think of all the crazy nuts that, that you've met in the last 12 hours or so? Memphis, Memphis. Memphis. <laughs> all right, quite, Gary. Quite a few. <laughs> Gary, uh, Gary, you missed a lot. You missed a lot. You know, I've been trying to talk uh, Gary into coming to this video concert for about two years, and WKKD, you're going to be here. One of these days, we only have it in March and September right now, every year. It looks like it's going to be a yearly thing, an ongoing thing. So bear this in mind, I can give you the dates a half a year in advance when it's going to be, and you know you can, you can make it here. I mean, if Randy can make it from Tennessee, you're only a couple states down south of there, right? So fly up. What the 25 hell? hours on the road is nothing. <laughs> That's right. Don't stop. You'll make it in Who's no coming? time. I'm coming. We're, we're on camera. <laughs> this is the guy that, come on in the camera, come on in the picture. This is the guy that suffered the ride suffered. <laughs> with Randy up here from Memphis. Give us your name. Uh, my name is Rod Morrow. I, I screwed him over. I got him up here. He got him under over false pretense. He lied to. <laughs> We're gonna have a. Uh, I told him we have a perfect copy of it. And we didn't have one. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, and he was pissed. But are you having a good time, Rod? Oh, I'm very pissed. Tell me about that twenty-dollar meal, Rod. Tell me about that twenty-dollar meal. Look at that twenty-dollar meal. That was good, Rod. What? Peas, carrots, corn, and two dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. Just Wait a minute. the peas and carrots are worth twice. Hey, that's right. The, the oh, here he is. Here, 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 they, are. here, here, here they are. Larry, Curly, and, and Schmo. And Schmo. All right, you, you show us the guts, Sam. Come on. These chicken dogs. That's it, Schmo. What are you doing? That's the gut. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we got we got to Sam this time. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm up here in Fremont, yeah, Gary is down that there with you. I hope that you guys are having an enjoyable time down there in the waning heat of the summer in Orlando, Florida. And uh, I'm sorry Gary couldn't be here because he missed a lot of good stuff that uh, came in from the far west coast, done by a certain animated studio in Hollywood that he likes to collect good copies of. But uh, beyond that, there's been about maybe 10 or 15 decent movies here this time, as well as some old stuff. And it's been a really enjoyable and fruitful convention. A lot of guys that only come once a year right. made it to the fall video convention. This was originally supposed to be a two-minute version of Ray Glasser talking. Right. Obviously, it's always a one-hour version, the son of a bitch. But how did you know it was waning in Orlando? It wasn't waning in Orlando. Bruce Lee, Kerry. Oh, oh, there he is. is. Look out, here he is. Yeah. 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 All right. We're getting the old wrap-up sign, and I can't see from the 650-watt light bulb. We'll see you uh, the rest of this tape. Bye. Honey? I don't want, I don't want honey, you to just a minute, just a minute, honey. Honey, oh, one minute. Gosh, Mark, what are you doing to me, Sam? Hello, honey. Let me uh, zoom in a little on the style. I, I don't want you to think I forgot you. I'm looking into the sun here. Yeah, Fuck you. Robbie right. is here. He says hello. Say hello. Hello. Mickey. 
Mickey, Mishi, right? Michiko. 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 Well, Michiko. Right. Hello, Kaimasu. 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 Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Okay. Hello, Michi. Michiko. Michiko. Or Mickey. Go on, like Mickey Mouse. Mi not Abbott and Costello. Michiko. Michiko. Right. Michiko. Abbott and Costello. Right. You're I'm not in. Yes, man. You're in. You're there you're I in. am. He doesn't right. the camera. I, here. I, I took care of him. Mention. I took care of him. I want you to know that he missed you about a hundred times a minute. That's all. Not too bad. Would you like to come in? Pardon me, pardon me. Excuse us, pardon me. He is the other roommate here now. Oh, right. He's a, he's right. a real disc jockey from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Okay, it's the boss sound stuff. Okay. Erin Shomo de Homo. You guys are out of your skull. Oh, brother. Anyway, honey, I want you to know I miss you. I love you. I'm thinking about you. We're having a good time. I slept one hour Friday night. I'll probably sleep nothing tonight. So when you see us tomorrow, a Sunday night after you get home from work, I'll probably be dead, crashed out on the on the on the couch with a bed or somewhere. I want you to know I'm falling apart. <laughs> Next time you gotta come and nurse me so I won't fall apart. Uh, from what I heard, Tim's wife is very, very bored, and she probably won't ever come back to one of these things. Maybe you were right in staying home working. Anyway, ma, love you. See you tomorrow night. Well, I told her, keep it wide though. Don't come close on me at all here. We don't we're too tight here. We're he's you're bouncing all over the place because we're Je Jeff is yelling at me because he's uh, we're up ahead. We're trying to find Chuck's house, and when Chuck sees this in a second, he'll say, "Couldn't you find my house?" But anyway, we're in March 19, uh, 1981, and this is Jeff over here, and Je Jeff's getting upset because we can't figure out where we're going. But we'll see more in just a second. Well, as you can see, we're trying to find uh, his place right now. This is the road here that leads. If you can see, can you do you have a shot here? And this is where Chuck lives, right here on the corner. You see this house right here? And we're going to go to Chuck's right now. All right. Bus there uh, with Jeff Dorn trying to, to, to figure out where the heck Chuck lives because Magic Chuck took bus. off before Magic us. Bus. Who's this? Hey, how hey. you doing there? Who else? What does it say? Zoom in I'm, on that. I'm so happy I could just eat a lot, too. <laughs> anyway, right, be stops. right behind us here. Get, yeah, get, get, get back far enough here. Let me set this on the ground here. And get back far enough. So that we get a nice shot here. This is uh, what we call uh, a uh, a dish. I have a knife and a fork and a spoon and all that kind of stuff. Are you close? Is that what you're trying to do there? Well, why don't you back off here? <laughs> I didn't shave that well this morning. Anyway, and uh, this is picking up signals from all over the place. And I'm dying here because so who's burning a fire? Your neighbors are burning leaves here on this nice March afternoon. Uh, in 1981, it is, as we said, the 28th day of this month, and it's VideoCon 1981. This is our spring VideoCon, and we're here with Ray and Chuck and all the guys somewhere in area code 419. We'll take a closer look in just seconds. I don't know how I got stuck doing this, but Art insisted on doing his camera work, so uh, here we are. You all know where we are and when. And uh, if we can con him, we're going to interview the man that uh, owns the satellite dish, who's making big news in Springfield, Ohio this weekend. Uh, you all recognize this gentleman to my right. This is the man who owns that big swimming pool over there. This is Chuck. Why don't you give us a couple facts about your little toy, Chuck? Well, first of all, it's not a toy. It's a very expensive toy, actually. It's not right? a toy. Okay. And uh, not to be confused as a toy, it is a very expensive earth terminal TVRO system. What do you want to know about? Um, how many channels can you get? How do they come in? What do one of these things cost? What entails putting the thing in? All right. Well, yeah, about half an hour of tape. Generally, uh, you can get two, sometimes three channels, depending upon how good the reception is. Uh, I've had as many as four. <laughs> <laughs> that's on a good night, right? That's, uh, uh -huh. that's on a good night, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I guess you could say there are probably, uh, on the particular satellite that it's aimed at now, there are upwards of 24 transponders, maybe 20 that are working. Per satellite? 17 more. On that particular satellite, there are, are 24, but they're not all working transponders at this point. There were initially 24. Mm -hmm. Not all satellites have 24. Some only have 12. Uh -huh. There are probably actively uh, in the air today maybe uh, 12 or 14 satellites that I can get here and probably something in the vicinity of 50 to 75 transponders that broadcast video. Uh -huh not all at the same time, not all around the clock, and not all programming. A lot of it are things like network feeds, uh, news feeds, and commercials, and uh, special interest programming that's mm -hmm. sent across the air. Yeah. 
Now, I know that you have trouble on, I don't know if it's some certain satellites or certain transponders where you can get video but no audio. And what causes that? I do? <laughs> Did I tell you that? Yeah. You get no sound on a couple of them. Uh, yeah, that's true. Uh, because uh, there are different subcarriers on different satellites. Uh -huh. And the particular system that I put in handles a 6.8 subcarrier, which mm -hmm. is what the major satellite programming has. There are other satellites put up by Western Union called Westar that use, in addition to 6.8, they also use 6.2 audio subcarriers. And uh, I, at this particular time, I uh, have not got my system set up to receive that, uh -huh. so it would be a while before I have that organized. So. Uh, one last thing, Chuck. What do you think the people who want to get one of these little dishes uh, can expect to spend for a decent dish, maybe like what you have, maybe a little bit less expensive? Well, actually, uh, it all depends. Uh, this is this is a pretty sophisticated system for a home terminal receiver, and you're going to spend anywhere from, uh, oh, uh, eight to maybe $12,000 when you get into a system like this. You could obviously put a system in for less money, but you would not have the quality. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're up against, especially where we live in northern Ohio because uh, you're very low to the rise in, in dust area. But if you lived in uh, you know, the southern or central part of the United States, you might be able to get by with a 10-foot antenna, a lot less sophisticated system, and a lot less money. And this is what, 14 feet? This is 13.8. Uh, uh -huh. First thing we have to do is teach you. Uh, all right, let's see. Explanation forthwith. Okay. This on the end is a rotor that turns this, which is called a, a low noise amplifier, LNA. LNA. That's uh, correct. I mentioned before there are some satellites that have 24 transponders and some that yep, have 12. Right. Those that have 24 have what's called a vertical feed and a horizontal feed. Mm -hmm. It's presently on horizontal. When the rotor turns it, it goes to vertical, and that's how it gets another 12 channels. I see. Those satellites that only have 12 channels, like Westar, uh, and the Canadian satellites only have a horizontal feed. Uh -huh. And that's, okay. that's why it's there. Okay. But that's what it is. Uh -huh. That's the most expensive part of the dish. And that costs roughly how much? Well. It depends upon the size. You're going to spend somewhere between eight hundred and fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars for that one. Today. Yeah, piece of equipment. Sure. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Carrie, cut this out. <laughs> I don't want me to talk to you. About what? I don't know. Ask him. This is a two-bit dish. It's probably worth about two hundred and fifty dollars on the black market. It can also be made into a swimming pool, it's, by the way. Uh, well, yeah, I use right. it for goldfish at home. Uh huh. Uh, it's a this, big goldfish. This this particular piece of crap is. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I wonder if the guy's paying the copyright. You know, so we in the industry don't like these uh, robbers of. Cities. I've heard about that nonsense. And, uh, I think this. Not robbing thing, anything. Uh, no one's selling anything off of it. Come on. Oh it's yeah. Free he's, not paying, he's not. No, he's not paying the copyright. And, so and he's not making really, any money off it either. He's not tying into the cable system that doesn't go by here. And, he's a uh, smart one. He's not paying anything. He's that's, a, that's a one-time fee of how many, many grand it costs, and that's it. That's right. Now, he, if he it's was free smart, airwaves up there, baby. I own a cable system. If he was smart. He would pay me about two hundred fifty dollars a month. For what? For the signal that he's stealing from the system that I don't own. Free airways, baby. Oh, okay. well. Free air, you know. Yeah. Well, I, it's public airways. I got something else that's free too. So. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> it's not new. It's spherical. It's a flat it's dish like that you put several circles. cones in front of it and bounce them off and you can receive. No, I, I think you mean feed horn. You don't mean uh, I'm talking antenna. About, I'm talking about the feed horn, horn itself. Right, like yeah. a from Channel there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a new system out that has a a round, instead of You're being funny, like last feed horn on that one, that was hilarious. it's rectangular on the end. There's a new one out that's round right. that, that works on certain focal point antennas. It, it actually it will increase your dB gain by as many as one and a half or two degrees, which is a substantial amount. Uh -huh. uh, when you're talking about a home system, this has what zero dB. Mm, no, this you. If you have horn. network quality, you've got to have about 50 dB. I'm talking about horn. just the horn itself. Does it have a loss or zero well, dB? Or? No, 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 no. Your your feed horn ties into your LNA. What you're doing is improving the performance of your LNA. It'd be impossible to to take the feed horn off and tell you that this is giving you X number of dBs. It's it's part of the system. That's you know the system is what's supplying the dB. But uh, the, the Chaparral, and there are several other companies that make them now, are very, 
they're very good, but they only work on certain antennas. It has to have the right focal point. It has to be between 3.2 and 4. If you get above or below that, it's not really effective. <laughs> okay. okay, the back of this system is uh, very simple. There are two cranks. There's uh, one crank for uh, your elevation, and there's one crank to go across your horizon. Now, this particular mount is called a polar mount, which is different than an AZL. With an AZL mount, in order to go from satellite to satellite, you have to crank your upper crank to go across the horizon, you have to crank your lower crank to get your elevation. With a polar mount, you only have to crank one thing, which in this case is your upper crank. And the antenna automatically raises as it's going across the horizon. I'll give you an idea of what we're talking about here. If you look at the bottom of the antenna close to the ground, you'll see it rising off the ground as it's being cranked. <laughs> Okay, this is really easy. Now, for example, right now I've gone from SATCOM F1 to Westar 2, and it has automatically risen across the horizon. Now, ideally, the reason for the polar mount is that you want to put an automatic crank on the end of it so you can sit in the house and just turn a normal antenna rotor and go from bird to bird. But at the present time, I don't have one installed, although one is on order. You have that notch? Yeah. I just have it marked on the back here. Now we're on SATCOM F2. There are, after that, we go through the Canadian satellites, then we go to Westar 2, then we go to Comstar D2, and then we go to Westar 3, and then we go to Comstar, the final Comstar 1, which is uh, very near the house at that point. But it's very easy to do. All right, what we have here is a giant uh, mole hole that went through my yard, and I decided to drop the antenna wire in it. If you look, if you look on the back of the antenna, I don't know how clearly you can see it, but I'll run my hand down it. There's a wire that goes down the back, <clears throat> it goes across the base, and it goes into this trench, and then it goes about 20 foot across the yard and into the back of the house. And the reason the hole is still open, this is a buried cable, but the reason the hole is still open is because, as I mentioned a moment ago, the polar mount uh, crank has, the automatic crank has not arrived yet, and when it arrives, we don't know at this point how many wires will go from that to the house, so we had to leave the hole open until we installed it and put the wires in the ground, then we'll cover it back up. The ideal thing is to not have more than 25 foot between the antenna and your receiver in the house. When you get beyond that, your loss starts to magnify itself and you lose a lot of what you've gained. Inside, and to show you the, uh, the other, the, the bottom end of the satellite receiver, this is the microdyne receiver that is attached to the satellite. And this is what processes the signal as it comes in and makes it possible to watch on normal television. Uh, if you look at this system, what we have here is a 24-channel Agile receiver. On this side, we have a meter that we can tune in the stations with. The audio signal goes from here down into a Pioneer receiver. It goes from there into the uh, audio speakers in the basement, and it goes out and back into the SL Sony 5800 machine. The video signal goes directly into the Sony SL 5800, which is monitored by the little 3.5-inch Sony color TV on the side. And then from here, the signal is distributed throughout the house. All right, well, that was the whole bit there. Thank you very much, Chuck Mosier, for showing us that. It's the 28th, as we said before, of March, not VideoCon, spring version, 1981 here, in uh, someplace in northwestern Ohio. And Ray Glasser is on camera, and he's getting better, as you can see, holding the camera steadier and the whole stick. But we got to go, because uh, we got to get back. It's 5 o'clock now, and we got to change some tape. So we'll see you in the next part of VideoCon, 1980. Get over here. You stop it. He did that again in Hollywood, and we're going to see you later. Goodbye.